You and I have some work to do, chat. We got some important things going on. A couple happenings, some happenstances, a couple occurrences, some occasions, some events, everything of the sort. Who wants a Waterloo sparkling peach, naturally flavored sparkling water? I know I do. Cheers, baby. How you doing, Lemon Pepper Lucas and Croppy and Reno and Kang Lee and Loop Sleet? Good to see you. I see Benjamin. I see Kane Odex, Energy Carson. Guys, we have work to do. Slim's here. Pompous Rompus is here. Moose Rider. Cider Man's here. 68K Mac Man. Guys, we've got some work to do. Dislodge Anvil, would you agree? I would agree. Jowsis, howdy to you too. Bob Ross Squirrel, how the hell are you? Pleasance, it's pleasant to see you. Fire Touch, dude, thanks for coming through. So, where we left off stream last night was you guys told me about this glitch that I was not aware of until last evening where if you go to this bridge in Red Dead Redemption 2 Oh, I said, uh, <coughs> click Nope, click If you go to this bridge in Red Dead Redemption 2 and if you throw a freaking hatchet or atomic hawk or a throwing knife right at this spot the fucking entire world collapses Now, yesterday we were able to get a couple different outcomes. I don't think we're quite to the point where we can gamify it yet. Uh. But I think we got to figure out some of the travel parameters for this. We got to figure out what kind of different outcomes we can have so we can put them into specific uh, bet parameters. Excuse me, I just had a little Panda Express. I had a coupon. I used it. I had some fried rice and orange chicken. I'm basic. It was good. I have burps in me. I don't know why I'm being so businesslike today. What up? <laughs> I'm ready for this too. Good to see you guys. Hope you had a nice day. Espresso rat. What up, dude? My bet is on break dancing. I would too. Yesterday, so far, the outcomes we saw were a couple like super quick spinny around Johns, a couple low light bouncing Johns, little uh, apex predator over here. Let's get rid of that hawk. Hella quick. Can't have anybody looking in. Let's go ahead and drop a hard save because it's daytime. Uh, let's do the. Last bullet. No, okay. Let's drop drop it here. Overwrite. There we go. Mackie, how the hell are you? I love that when I tune in, we're already... Yeah, dude, I was like, bro, I'm starting at the bridge, dude. Hello, this stream is a lifesaver. I'm glad you're here, Zerfy. Also, Benjamin, you have to hit it right uh, where you did leave it there and then get a running start. Run and jump. Oh, run and jump. Oh, okay. Good comms in that one, Benjamin. Thank you. Anyway, uh, the ones we've seen so far are... Medium bounces. We got one very high bounce. We got a twice I clipped through the map and fell down like in the abyss and then I spawned nearby. I had a couple break dancers. Gus, did you know you can spin your revolver when you put it away? How do you do that? Hey, come here. Oops, nope, didn't want that. Because you guys were telling me about this one. I know about that one. Double tap L1. I didn't do it. Oh, maybe it only works when you got single wield. Oh, I gotta have a revolver. Whoa. Okay, that's cool. Boom, baby. Hey, that is really nice. Click it and stick it. Boom, dude. Anyway, we're getting right into this. We're gonna start doing some uh, some different launches here. Uh, maybe we'll do a mission or two today, but I'm only able to be live for an hour or two. And I figured let's just start right away at the fuck around. We got a safe spot right here. I want to see what all the options are. My goal, I'm curious how far you can launch, and don't spoil if you do know, but I want to see what the record is, because I don't know if I am if I land, like, across the map fully or what the situation is. Maybe I'd fucking be able to launch into this or something. That'd be kind of cool. We'll go check it out. All right, let's start right away. Plop! Whoa! I didn't even <laughs> I didn't fucking jump on it yet. Okay, here we go. Also, it's been launching me before I get on the bridge right away. Jump! Jump! Oh! oh pfft, fell right through. 
Also, this seems to be the Shit. quickest route around is over here. I'm running my ass around. Hey, Relsuit, I hope you've been well, dude. Good to see you. Gus, if TikTok forced to be sold, can you launch, use your vast wealth of $250 billion to buy it? I'll try to. But I might have to crowdfund it, frankly. What is a guy to do? Hi, Dutch Toker, how are you? Hi, Ice Girl, thanks for streaking it up here. Also, Mr. Soup, thank you very much for 18 months, dude. I know you're here all the freaking time. Is this is this enough tweaking to make it work? It's still glitching. I'm gonna try it. Yep! Oh, fuck, I picked it up on accident. Okay, we'll get it, we'll get it, we'll get it. I'll be a good TikTok CEO, no question. Blah! I think that's not high enough. Are you still opening the mans of Pokey at all? Good question. I'm doing it infrequently. Usually, if just if I find an insane deal around town or if there's a new set coming out. But I've been playing a lot of Red Dead and a bunch of, like, itch.io games. Thanks for asking. Like, I've been finding a lot of cool, like, indie horror games. All right, let's see what we get here. Oh, fuck you. Is there a way I can do this without picking it up? Gus, when you buy TikTok, can you please have all my videos have a billion views? Please and thank you, dude. Oh! Oh, look, dude, it launched a rock down there, too. Holy shit. Re uh, dude, Moz is streaking, too, baby. Thank you, Moz. Let's see if I can get it right on the edge over here. What? Where the fuck did it just put me? Where's the bridge? Oh, what? Where the fuck did I go? That was just an instant teleport. Okay, that was a weird one. Gus, I'm doing a scratcher for my birthday yesterday. Can you bless it with your Midwestern charm, please? Please, God, help Pleasance have a good friggin' scratcher over here. Help Pleasance to win... I don't know, what's the denomination of the scratcher? You gotta tell me. Also, that was a deceptive little map tweak. Because I thought I was gonna be a lot farther away than I was. I was not that far. Here we go. I wonder if I can, like, I'm 50,000 top prize? Please help Pleasance win at least $100. Dear Lord, God, this is Gus. Really need your heat right now, dear Lord. <laughs> what is the guy to do? Why, Mom? Oh, good. She's just asking for the Netflix login. I was like, Mom, you don't have a good track record this month of sending me a message as soon as we start stream. Because the last time you did that, it was like, oh, your dad's having a huge health problem. But he's doing a lot better now, guys. He's not fully out of the woods yet. He's on the blood thinners. But he's been back and forth at school for little spurts in the last couple days. It's been looking a little more promising. If I go right here. Come on, let's hit it. Right here. Oh, I think I need to try to connect as much of the ground to this as I can in the throw. I have not tried the other side of the- oh, like this side? I don't know if this one does it. Also, how did anybody figure this out? Maybe I'll switch to throwing knives. That is not tweaky enough. I cannot pick up the other hatchet either. Right on the edge. Two of them, like, stabilizes it. That is so ironic. Like, one fucks it into oblivion. Two, this is the balance that we need from the force. That is not tweaky enough either. Yeah, the other side just does not work. You're right. But I really wish I could fucking reach this damn thing again. Oh! What? Well, this game rocks. Okay, here we go. I like the tomahawk better. I feel like I get better results. Oh, yep! Yep! What?! Damn it! Okay. Fuck, that was a good one at first. Oh, dude, it was close. It was close. I feel like we're gonna have a big mega jump over here. Today, sometime. I'm just running through these cactuses, too. I don't think that's big enough. It did almost trip him. Yep, 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 yep! Oh, damn it, that wasn't good enough either. I, as far as I've been able to tell, there's not a consistent way to get it to work. It, like, stops right away. What up, getaway? Good to see you again. 
I'm like hilariously laser focused on this is like the most oh we're getting there yep okay best one today so far progress progress is progress God. yeah baby Woo -hoo! yo yo I'm running oh boys we're fucked now dude <laughs> oh shit find a puzzle find a puzzle what why what happened what happened We'll get back in there. Also, hot milk. I'm sorry about your grandma. I hope she does well, dude. Uh, keep us updated. Thinking of you, dude. I know you're always here. Thank you very much for the kind words, and uh, I hope that your grandma is doing okay. Yeah, that sounds really scary. I'm sorry to hear about that. I say as I get flung across a cliff. There's really no good way to <laughs> to transition any time. But no, thank you for sharing, dude. All right, let me let me just. I think I should get in the habit of reloading. Is this the, is the, hmm, this one, let me see, is the second one, maybe it was. Let me move my window around real quick. One sec. And boom. That's a little better. Okay. It spawned us close-ish. This is the fucking literal exact same spot. All right. It didn't. <laughs> orange. You guys like orange, don't you? I quite like it, frankly. Go Syracuse. Oh, oh, careful. Oh. Whoa, keep an eye on that. Oh, it's up. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, be chill, Rachel. Be chill. Oh, I took the wrong turn. Oh, you fucker. Get out of here. There we go, dude. These caverns are just tricky to navigate. Also, I'm excited. My younger brother Thor is getting here tonight. My my younger sister is not getting here till Sunday, but I'm gonna have to go pick him up uh, at LAX at like 11 tonight. So that's gonna be pretty epic. Right here. Yup. Whoa! That was kind of a late one. I might survive. Yes. Oh, dude, big rock. Oh, look! It put another like rock on the bridge there. Do you think that thing's gonna launch? Whoop! Oh! Where the fuck did that one go, doing? <laughs> uh, siblings are only staying here for a few days, but this might be my last stream for a couple days, though. Unfortunately for all of us together. And I'm only gonna be able to do about an hour or two tonight, so I appreciate you coming and vibing with me for a little bit. All right, we're gonna get this one. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, you son of a bitch! No, God, Jesus Christ, that's the lamest one, because it just wastes their little of your time. Stand on the bridge when throwing? I would, I definitely have been told not to do that, but I'm starting to think that you're right, Zerfi. Like, if it stops so quickly, there's just no way. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna try a series of throws on the bridge. I think it'll be worth it, not the time and investment. Can we hogtie a dude and send him flying? Oh, dude! Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is he going to do that again randomly? No, you cock! Ow! Oh! I kind of wish it was like Skyrim or Fallout where as soon as you die, you could just go, that pause, load it, quick. I get it, I died. Don't make me sit through double animation kind of thing, you know? How come I walked up when it was still doing that? I am an expert on this matter, as you should be. Ah, that's not even a remotely close. Are you even trying? Why the fuck would it put me way the hell over here? Thank God I got this hard save here. Load game. I think it's the top one. I think you're right. I think it's just this top one. 
Pleasant said 112 bucks. God takes a big cut, I guess. Still, ain't mad. That's Steam Spring Sale money. There you go. Not too bad indeed. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. Just messaging Svenny Boy. He's heading back now. Alright, Brack, back on over to the Bridge of Destiny. We're gonna do it, too. I feel confident this time, guys. I think we just gotta get... Oop. Get a little bit closer in there. Couple stand on the bridge throws. Give me a little confidence. Ow. <laughs> Damn it. Gus out here sounded like Seinfeld. What's the deal with their plain peanuts? What's the deal with their plain peanuts? I can't do the best, Jerry. I lived it. I was on that sitcom for nine years, brother. I don't need to go back. Let me try this. If I try to go right in the good spot here. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> it gave me a little kill. Go on back there, bud. Go pick it up. Nice and gentle. <laughs> Just don't do Kramer. Okay. Oh, fuck. Okay, I think there's something here, though. I think there's something to stand on the bridge this time. I think we'll get fewer hits, but when it does hit, it will hit, it'll go. Okay, careful, careful. I kind of like these little baby bounces. Oh, shit. Okay. Right here. Nope. Ed, that is still so cool to me. Every time it makes contact with the rope, it makes a rope tear sound before that plank hit. just not big enough. Just give me these little baby bounces, dude. Oh, also, if you're just joining in and you're like, what the fuck is he trying? I might I might repeat it just a couple times, but there's a glitch on this bridge that chat told me about yesterday. This is new information to me where if you throw a throwing knife or hatchet at this spot, it, like, breaks the bridge and it tweaks out and it can apparently fling you, like, up to across the map. So... We just learned it at the very end of yesterday's stream, and I'm just kind of testing the limits of it right now. Because I want to go for, like, a huge, a huge launch. And apparently it's, like, it's going to be the best when the entire bridge really starts tweaking, you know? Like, that's probably not big enough. That's just going to kind of lightly throw me. Like, that's probably not big enough. Damn, it rains like crazy in the desert here, dude. If only friggin' Stanley Hell Yelnats and Zero got friggin' stranded here, they'd be fine. <laughs> like that, like that, like that. That, like that was a big one. And this is supposedly the best bridge to do this on. Yeah, whoa! So that one just took me very safely across the bridge. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> How does he do that? Let me grab these. That was... Okay. Alright. Flawless indeed. Okay, we're getting there. We're, we are getting there. Uh, get it. Right here. Whoa, that was just one big... Bow! Right here. Come here. Standing right by it is the way to do it. Whoa! Okay. Oh shit! Oh, dude, that is a serious sciatica and fracture right there, dude. Got to launch your horse, but I need it, dude. Rachel's always been good to me. You kidding me? Rock, Rockstar and glitch launching. Name a better duo. Uh, Abbott and Castello, dumbass. <laughs> I mean, yeah, no, you're right. I didn't even say Costello, right? Oops. I just caught Uncle's Lumbago. God damn it. Uh, Can't go having that. That is just a no-good situation. Oh, wait. Hey. Okay, so I guess it just flicks when I run up on it again like that. But it's not indicative of it still being launchable. Wait, maybe it is. What if I just go stand on it for a sec? 
Well, it's in the state. Is it going to fluctuate? What is causing it to do this? Because I want to be launched. Give it some time. I'll give it a little time. Just keep running up and down. Looking pretty good. That's the alien bridge. Made to talk to aliens. No! It's hard to jump on the bridge because even if you're facing straight ahead, sometimes your character model goes, Vault, got it! And you go, ah, no! That's some bullshit. That's why I'm like way hesitant to jump on that one. That's no good. Is there, I'm, I'm curious in people's experience too, has there been a consistent way to do this for you guys? Have you, do you know a consistent way to do this? Crappie says no. Number terminal. Fuck you. There we go. All right. There's a specific spot, boy goofs. Cause like I'm clearly at the spot, but is there more of a consistent way to really get it into that perfect tweak zone where that it launches you? Should I be standing in a different spot? I, at this point in time, we clearly know the bridge. We clearly know the plank. I'm just curious if there's a different spot I should be standing. I found a consistent spot back when I watched a video on how to hit the plank. If you know at all. Hi, Big Mike. How are you doing, dude? You let a guy know. I just watch YouTube videos. I, it'd be funny if Cidermain just meant it, not even how to do this glitch. Just I just watch YouTube videos, dude. I, <laughs> it's just, I don't know, bro. I just, I just fire up YouTube. I watch videos. I don't know what a guy does. Because, like, I can get it tweaking, like, ten times out of ten now, but standing, like, right here, you think? What if I'm making contact kind of with the side of the bridge? I think if you're trying to hit the side of the plank, skinny edge of it works. It is it is this side of the plank. I'm just wondering where I should be standing with my with my character model right now. In order to get the fling going, you know? When it tweaks, I remember running onto the bridge after. Like, I don't... Oh, that might be a big enough tweak. Because every, every time now I run onto the bridge, it just stops tweaking out. Sometimes it's my videos? No way. Yahoo lets it go? You know what I mean? Like, like it's like, oh boy, I got it tweaking perfectly right here. Time to run onto the bridge. It goes, shh, he's here. I can- Oh, please land me on the other side! Ow, fuck you! I would have rather died, frankly. Okay. I want some old man to run up like, You're ruining my bridge! Please, God, let that happen. Okay, we're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. I feel very confident. So yeah, do that and run immediately. Okay, I'll try doing that. See, and then every time I run up and it goes, it's crazy, it's crazy, it's crazy, and it goes, shh, he's coming. <gasps> oh, okay, we'll stop. Guys, shh, he's coming. Oh! <laughs> that was a fun one. That was not far. Please die, please die, please die. Uh, 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 Jesus Christ. Oh, that was not earned at the very end, though. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. That was still kind of fun. Throw them immediately, run on. I wish there was a way that you could like consistently point at a cloud or something, you know, so you could go like, it's gonna hit, and then quick run on, run on, like you do Skyrim arrows, you know? I like that most of the time after I die here, John's just found washing his face in a pond, like, hey, god damn it. Load it up. Did blasting at work? It did not. Oh, there's a friggin' mountain lion, dude. 
That's no good. Trying not to pick it up. Throw and run immediately. Try not to pick it up. The only reason it stops is because you're picking up the hatchet. I think as long as it's stuck, you can launch. But in several of these instances, though, I have still had the hatchet be stuck, and I don't pick it up, and it doesn't launch me. Either way, though, I'm not dejected, because it just seems like one of those things... Like, last night, we had some, like, bonzo mode kind of ones, you know? Do you have to throw it from that angle? Can you throw it while standing on the bridge? We found that while throwing it while standing on the bridge, it didn't really work a lot. Like, we're getting, like, a way lower series of just light bounce outcomes, you know? I also like the hatchet the best, but should I be using this throwing knife? I don't know if that's tweaky enough. That looks like it could be tweaky enough. Oh! <laughs> Oh, that one just fucking launched my ass straight down. Hey, maybe the knife is a little better for this purpose then. Spiked, Tim says. What up, Tim? The most hurt John has ever experienced. That's true. Thank you. I'm glad you noticed. I wonder if it's still working. Oh, dip, dip. Dip, 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 dip. oh dude, that's now that's real tweaky. Come on, keep going. <gasps> Throwing knife is the meta. Throwing knife is the meta. Yeah, baby! Woo! Yeah! <laughs> Yo, boys! That was the best one by far, dude! Dude, what? How did I not die? Okay, how far? That was not that far. How the fuck did I not die? What the hell? <laughs> Dude, that's great. This is clearly the meta for hunting birds. Lead them. Lead them. Now this fucking rocks. I'm lo I'm gonna reload it. I think honestly faster. Just reload every time. That was a really good one, dude. Okay, clearly we have to be using knives. No more hatchet stuff. The hatchet looks cool, but the knives are performing way better. I'm definitely gonna stick with the knives. Didn't I, didn't I, didn't I see you crying? Spoiler alert, I did not. I was sold the whole seat, but only needed the edge. John's built different. He's dense. It's why he can't swim. That's true. I just thought he's so damn skinny and them spurs on his boots is dragging him down. That could be the reason, too. I should so they can wipe. Okay, there we go. I was sold the edge of the seat, but I started getting greedy with it. Is this a spin on a phrase that I am not aware of? Because it sure sounds like it. Okay, goody. We got her. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Oop, nope, not there. Damn it, that was a really good glitch spot, too. Okay, that was a great result. I don't think that's tweaky enough. I think we gotta really, really see it launching. Okay, alright, get the knife, get the knife. Yep, that's good. Whoa, oh, the rock. And I ain't talking Dwayne. What the hell? Hold on. Ow, ow, ow. What? I'm not even on the thing. Wait, dude, wait, 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 wait. I know, it was so weird. I was still running in the sky. I wonder if we can extend out that run, too, so I'm not just like, so I can keep like launching far. That got me super high up, but that didn't like launch my ass far. What, mom? Buy your own Netflix. I love you. Watch something else! Every fucking time. Now I got goddamn microdose PTSD from my mom texting me while I'm on stream here. It's either gonna be like, what's a Netflix login? Or, dad's dead. There's no in-between with mom. Okay. Well, is it still going? Is it 
Still going? Okay. Okay. Delaney Tap Dance, how you been? I hope you're well too. Good to see ya. We're just we're doing work here. <laughs> yeah, no, we're we're doing serious stuff, so it's been good. Oh shit, I missed a prime sub before. First of all, Orai again. Thank you very much, Orai again. Eleven. It's almost a full year now, dude. Appreciate you. Also, I'm sorry I missed you nine minutes ago. Uh, we got a first time sub from oh uh, underscore um. <laughs> Are you still here? I'm so sorry I missed you. Thank you for subbing to me for the first time. That was probably what the, your username is the equivalent of what my brain was doing at the time when that sub came through. Oh. Um, that's, that's good. You're bringing a non-critical thinking tone to this stream, frankly. That's the kind of effort we need around here. What? Now the bridge ain't really doing nothing at all, dude. Oh, good, you're still here. Okay, good. I was like, fuck, I feel like a dick if you're subbing for the first time. And I missed you. Thank you. Oh, um, that's very nice of you. Oh, okay. I think I fixed it. I think I fixed it. We grab this other knife. He's planting it in the ground. People are saying you should aim at the dirt between the planks. Oh. I don't know if that's big enough yet. I wonder if it works better between these two planks or between these two planks. Not between these two, I think. I think we go right here. <gasps> oh! You guys are smart. That's the spot. It's not tweaking again, dude. Cliff Bones is here too, dude. Two years of serious work, like finding the launch codes to a bridge, dude. I think those are usually reserved for rockets, but now we're doing it for a bridge. Thank you, Cliff Bones. Honestly, Cliff Bones is kind of a hilarious fitting way uh, to describe what they're going to find of John after I get done with this. Just some fucking bones on a cliff, bro. Thank you, Cliff Bones, for two years. Cheers to you, guy. Delicious. Dude, shut up. Is my mom actually in the chat? You gotta be careful. Also, hello, ZX. She's not in the chat. She's got a long-ass username. I can find it. <laughs> if she is, I'm chewing her ass out. Don't you even. That bridge beat jiggling, dude. All right. I'll get it right here. Ooh, is that big enough? Not yet. I was, dude, ZX, I was so ready to just fucking lay into her. Mom, don't scare me like that. I know I'm your brave little boy, but you can't be scaring me in front of my fucking fr freaking friends. I don't think that's big enough. Maybe if I run away and turn around and come back in. Is this gonna is it gonna tweak enough? I don't think so. Let's get her up in there. Yup. I can't tell. I think it's gonna be like even bigger. Get it. Oh yeah, it's between the first two. First two. <laughs> it just looks like the rain is doing it now, dude. Oh, 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 oh! Launch horse. All right, Rachel, come on now. Where'd Gus be without this glitch right right now? Probably on a homestead somewhere. Getting closer. I'm so glad that we already got promising results though, because it was being way slower yesterday. Come on, Rachel. I don't know if she can hear me over the storm, dude. Rachel's is up in this game. Ooh, ooh. No, not yet, not yet. There she is. Good girl. Good girl. I'll go for a ride. Go for a ride. Okay, you sit tight now. Well, Rachel, I'll tell you right now, it's been good to know you. Oh, oh, oh. 
oh, 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 oh. <laughs> she's like, fuck shit, oh, fuck. Damn, she's really weathering the storm. All right, no, no, she's good, she's good. She, guys, look, she's, she likes it, it's a ride. See, she doesn't fall off. She gets a nice, gentle bump, and she comes back home safe to all of us. You having fun in there, girl? Good girl. You're liking that, don't you? Good, see, that's fun. Look, she's pawing at the ground. She is having so much fun. Good job. Boy, she needed a break from the realities of the day. Well, you want a little bit higher, Rach? Okay. You betcha. Here's just a little bit. You sure you can handle it? What? Yep. Okay. Okay. See, look, she likes that, guys. That's no problem. Here, let's move her a little bit closer to the center. She loves the center. <laughs> Up. You okay, girl? You okay, let's girl. Go. I'm going to make her watch me while I do this. <laughs> Wait, let's go right here. Good girl. All right, now. Y'all have fun out there. Oh, oh, oh! She's fine. She's okay. She's okay. She's enjoying this. She, she loves this. You're good. No! <laughs> Where the fuck did she go? Rachel? Oh. <laughs> Dude, you good, bro? <laughs> hey, hey, you're good. You're good. Dude, you're fine. You're fine. Dude, stop doing that. Can't... I don't have any fucking horse reviver. Why'd I lose honor? She didn't even... You did good, girl. That was not a fitting ending. You did good, girl. What if I join her? Don't worry, I ain't auto-saving. <gasps> yes! Oh, dude, her blood's all over here still. Don't pick it up. Is that enough? Doesn't look like it's enough. This is not the deer all over again. I'll, it's fine. You guys are good. Whoa! <laughs> yup, that's what I'm fucking talking about, baby. Yeah, dude. Where the fuck? Oh. Brought me about 15 feet away. I don't think it was glitched enough. And I seemingly lost the knife. Let's try this time. Okay, I think especially if I go right to the edge of that, that's going to get me good results. Right on the edge of this. Right here. Boy, oh, yes! That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Hey, nice! I don't have to go that far back, too. Actually, what fucking bridge is this, dude? Which bridge is this? Oh, this is the bridge. How the fuck is that happening? Oh! Dude, I think that right on the tip of that plank is the way. Oh, dude, now we're really... Okay, we're zeroing in on the spot. Nope, 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 nope. Give me the knife, give me the knife. Oh, fuck you. Pick it up. Pick that fucking knife up. Okay, maybe I don't need it. As long as it's dislodged. Oh! <laughs> I think it knocked the other knife way far away. Okay, can I grab both these now? I should be able to. Son of a bitch. I don't think that's enough. Oh, look, it flings the other ones free. That's kind of cool. I think they both landed over here. Somebody's clanking their teacup on this bridge. I agree. Okay, the space between is clearly the meta, though. Right on the top, space between. All right, we're going to get this. Oh, come on now. Oh, oh, hey, maybe that's tweaky enough. Maybe it's tweaky enough. I'm going to try it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to risk it. Either way, I gotta get Rachel back. So, ugh, that's not enough. That is not enough. Oh fuck! I gotta go back. I gotta go back. Nope. Little little bumps only. No, please. Oh dear. Lord, no. 
we'll reload. <laughs> Didn't happen. Dude, I was like staring so hard at the screen, my eyes were tearing up. Yes, reload. Sirenix here. What is up, gamer? I'm just doing serious things. I'm progressing the storyline and my life, dude. Thank you, Sirenix. Uh, closing on two years. That's true. Fuck yeah, dude. Uh, thanks for the nice comment on my video yesterday, too, bro. Appreciate ya. What have you been up to lately, dude? Ugh. You ever get around to doing this in real life? You got any local bridges or infrastructure near you that send you halfway through town or what? This one's busting up on me, dude. Thank God you paused before somebody got hurt. That's what I'm saying. I'm always looking out for them there. I always throw it right at the base of the post while standing on the bridge. Let's try that one out a couple times. I, too, also named my first horse Glue. Uh, hey, mine was Gluey. I made it, I made it light. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that, that happened to me one time. Kind of scary. Freaking the infrastructure in this country has gone to shit, dude. You can't even throw knives at bridges anymore without getting launched halfway over town. What's the guy do? Throw a shuriken at the Hoover Dam once, but that's it. The entire thing comes down. All right, let's try it right at the base. Uh, like Benjamin said. Okay, I'll just throw a couple ones around that. I think I still got to get it in this general direction here, too. Could have been Gluigi if the horse was Italiano. Oh, yes! Ooh! Please survive, please survive, please survive. Land on the bridge! Oh, hey! Whole, how the fuck does a man survive that? Couple goddamn desert lizards down here, brother. Just fast walking in airspace. Don't forget it. Get out of here, dude. Terrible bridges. Roads in Texas are good, though. Smooth rides in my 2025 Chevy Compensator V8. You know what? I'm so dumb that that could even be a real car and I wouldn't know. I think it's a joke because of compensating for small penis joke, but I'm not. I'm not a versed man in the world. I don't know things. Oh, oh. It's still kind of tweaking a little bit. Hold on, hold on. Maybe if I just keep approaching it, it's going to do something different. Oh, the Chevrolet penis car. That's a real one. You can't fool me with that. Okay, hey, right here, right here, right here, right here. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, my God. What the fuck? Yo, boys, I'm going to Tucson now. I'm going to land in fucking Vancouver. What is, what the fuck is happening, dude? Yo, actual eyes up moment. What the fuck? Where am I going? Okay, this is going to be the record. What the f Where on the map am I right now? I am outside the map. Please land. Please, please, please land. Video Etron, how our parents walk to school every day. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. That's a good one, dude. Thanks for the bits, video. Dude, I am outside the map right now. I'm above, like, Armadillo down here? This is also just a fucking hilarious pose. Please survive. Please survive. Please survive, John. Oh, dude. Okay. Easily the best one so far. Easily the fucking best one so far. That is a good lesson to know. Now that is a launch indeed, Espresso Rat. Thank you for the bits. You start a hype train, Espresso Rat video, and Cyrenic, thanks for doing that, dude. How it started, how it's going. That is the A to B. That is the A to B. All right, I'm loading it up again. Wait, wait, wait. Where's it spawn me if I landed that far away? Map. The fuck that... What the fuck is this? Did you see that? There's a legendary weapon on there. Hold on. I'm still gonna load that save. I'm not- I'm not saving. Where the fuck was that? Here now. Wait, 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 wait. What happened? What do you mean drink a tonic? What does that do? Like, before I do it? Does that make me invincible? What the hell is this? What is this?
Is this going to be TOS? Please, no tits. 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 Gus got launched to porn. Thank God. No tits here. That's family friendly. That's okay. Otis Miller's revolver? Another erotic photograph? How many fucking erotic photographs are in here? Dude, we found somebody's porn stash in the woods. Oh, cutting it really close on that one. Please no tits, please no tits, please no tits. <laughs> that was so close. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, bro. <laughs> we got one more photo. Please no tits, please no tits, please no tits, please no tits. <laughs> 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 that, was really, that was really close. <laughs> what? The, wait, what the fuck even is this place? Otis Miller's revolver. I mentioned this yesterday on stream. I'm happy you found the special golden revolver and special pictures. Dude! That looks fucking cool as hell. Wait, is this where the treasure map leads? Is it? That was the mended map, dude? I- I launched to it? Damn, now I'm like, do I just like... How far away am I? Do I maybe keep this save now? Cause I still have Rachel. I totally launched to the treasure map. What the fuck? I feel like I keep this now, right? I gotta inspect this thing again. How do I how do I do this in first person? Maintain. Wow, dude. Okay, well I'll clean that up. Oh, that was a fucking actual waste. I think it's already almost full. I mean, that is kind of one of the funniest outcomes that could have happened here. That is really cool. I totally got to keep this one. God, dude, that's sick as shit. Tim, th Tim, thank you for the biddies. Tim goes, yeah, my wife doesn't let me jerk it in the living room anymore. But luckily I came across, Hello, and I mean that literally, this nice little cave. Okay, okay. All right, good to know. <laughs> Thanks, Tim. Good bit, good bit. Boy Goose says the clip on that in case you missed it. You gotta watch the launch on that. Dude, that was fucking cool as shit. I'm keeping it. I'm just gonna gallop right back over here. In fact, what's quicker? McFarl yeah, dude, I'll just fast travel back to McFarland's ranch hella quick. Easy. Dude, anonymous 15 bucks? Bro, what the f- Dude, who did that? Thanks for 15 bucks. Gus, thank you for all the positive vibes you put out. Dude, I really appreciate that. Holy shit. Big cheers to you, Anonymous. I got my Peach Waterloo. I hope you don't mind. Good shit, eh? Okay, Cum Cavern is good. I didn't want to acknowledge it, but here we are. Here we are. Back off to Seth MacFarlane's ranch. Really, seriously, thank you very much for doing that, Anon. That's super chill. Anon, I hope you're having a nice day. Uh, I'm doing my best. I'm working hard. I can't wait for you to play the game I'm working on, too. And uh, I had a new video up yesterday. So thanks for uh, just plugging in and engaging with all the shit that I do. That really means a lot to me, Anon. Thank you. All right. We don't want to sleep. We want to fast travel. I'm going to go over to Seth MacFarlane's ranch. In fact, look at that. That's gas money to go get my little brother from the airport today, Anon. Hell yeah. That's a big hell yeah. You want anything from Seth McFarland's ranch while I'm over here? An animation still, perhaps? If you guys keep coming up with cum pun names for that <laughs> fucking stupid game, bro. I'm sending everybody to bed. No exceptions. Cum Cavern sounds like a Fortnite. Dude, I'm not. Fortnite. Okay, now we're done. Now we're done. 
Lagoon Grotto. Now we're done. The Bukake, dude. Seek God in any form that he may exhibit. You guys are all adults, right? Like, <laughs> surround. I never check. You know, we don't really check IDs here, but I'd love it if you guys were all between the ages of about 40 and 65. That'd be pretty oh, cash yeah. money, dude. And it'd uh, be good. I don't mean to bring the mood down, but I was so moved by Ian's song, which you talked about yesterday, I decided to try and learn it on guitar and sing it. Did you really? That didn't bring the mood down at all. That's It's a sad song and for a sad reason, but that means a lot to me. Thanks for doing that. Holy shit. Yeah, Jossify, that's... That's really nice. It's I realized after I wrote it when I was a kid, it's pretty similar to Wake Me Up When September Ends in terms of that... In Ian's song, you looked a lot like how Sven looks now. It's wild. Well, that's what happens when you uh, stop growing up and start growing out. You change. Thanks for checking that out, though. I, I, somebody asked me yesterday what my first YouTube video was, so looks like a couple of you went and checked it out. Appreciate it. Ooh, 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 ooh. Whoa, easy. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, we're back at the bridge, and now we've got... Oh, I gotta remember now before I do any more fucking around, I gotta drop a hard save here. Holy shit. <laughs> Gus, what's your last YouTube video? Like, ever. Um... Probably Mbamba Jumps 5. Oh yeah, I've, I've I've had some people hit me up for Red Dead roleplay. I would be super down to do that at some point in time. That sounds fun. Oh, Red Dead roleplay, brother. All right, I'm going back over to friggin'. Oh. I don't think I'll survive. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? I totally survived. At this point in time, who the hell knows when I'll do the Uncle Stan update. Things have been going good. We'll let you know, though. Dude, bro is tough. Okay, do I have any tonics or bitters or anything? Health cure. Miracle tonic. Let's try that. Let's try that. Whoop. <gasps> okay, another good one. I'm not even bummed. This one is probably going to kill me, though. We <laughs> dude. Dude, these impacts are so brutal, dude. In Biamba Jones 5 is when you're 85 and decrepit, and you literally don't even need to play the character because it's how you act anyway. <laughs> it's, just, it's, not, it's not Sven having fun behind the camera. It's like my whole family is behind the mic just being like, please... God, if I will call you Imbi, anything to get a response out of you, dude. It's just, no, dude, dude. <laughs> Come on, everyone's just so pissed. All right, I'm loading the game. I don't want to have any any deaths on my hands. Bro, do be built tough, though. Do be built tough. Spine was shattered on that one. Yeah, the spine do be gone. That's okay. Is Wild Roleplay a brand, or is that just a style? You're saying is uh, Andy Milanakis was on Milanakis was on Wild Roleplay. Some other people involved with Comedy Central. That's me. I'm involved with Comedy Central. Click, turn around. Oh, 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 oh. Have to change his name to John Mars Mission at this point. I like it. Oh, Wild Roll plays a server. Interesting. Well, that's kind of cool. All right, let's try this. Right here. Ooh, I don't think it's enough. I don't think it's enough. Dude, we are getting a really diverse range of outcomes here today, too. Got the old golden Otis. Point. Can I pick it up? I think Gus <laughs> hosts the Daily Show on Mondays now. I've been told I do. Have they been taping it without me? Fuck, what? Oh, I said I was gonna... I said I'll show up. I just said wait. Okay, okay. 
Got that back. Shows up with index cards. I'm going to show up with blue Norm McDonald joke index cards. Oh, did it stop? Looked like that was a pretty good Tweaky Impact. That's a Killian Murphy show, right? Tweaky Impact? I think so. I think it works if you shoot the knife a little bit more towards the middle of the plane. Oh, hey! Yo, right here. It's going. It's, dude... If it's still doing this off and on, I'm not going to take the plank out yet on this one. In fact, look at the rope. I'm just going to keep running back and forth on this one for a sec. Oh, I'm like hesitant to reset it because it was so good before. If I just, I'll just step away over here for a sec. Maybe if I take my eyes off it. Damn it. One of these times. Yeah. Oh, we got Rachel. No. Where did she go? Where did she go? Oh, she's fine. <laughs> it's it's showing me her stamina went all the way down, though. <laughs> she's in the porn cave now. She's in the porn cave now. Okay. Damn it. Oh, man. This feels like a really good knife spot. I still think it's going to start tweaking again. Hold on. I feel like it is. <laughs> no, Tim. Rachel deserves better. Rachel, get out of the nut nest. God damn it, you guys. I, I, you are lucky that I don't allow you guys to go outside. Oh, wait. Still doing it? I wish I could get one of those coyotes to come over here. Damn it. I really thought. Okay. We're going to get it. I don't think that's big enough. Oh, maybe. Maybe. Maybe, you know what? I'll fuck around. It's worth a try. And now up here. <laughs> How's the guy get down safely now? Okay, well. <laughs> well, shit. First of all, let's start there. Can I? I don't know. Well, I guess I got no choice but to try now. There we go. And can I survive this? Please, Lord. There we go. Okay, that one probably ain't good enough, though. Ooh. Oh, is that is that good enough? Looks pretty. You know what? Fuck it. I'm sending it. Oh, darn it. That's the worst outcome. Um, yeah, yeah, we'll... Nah, we'll do the reload. We'll do the reload. I ain't worried. I gotta make sure in all these little quick button press things that I don't just accidentally, like save over in a bad spot imagine if you could emote in midair i wish i could fire my gun in midair that'd be great i would like that a lot like if i'm falling i'm just going ah <laughs> boom 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 my mission for this is i really want to see how far i can launch myself so far record is above armadillo but i told people i said please don't spoil it if I can, like, somehow get all the way up to, like, fucking Van Horn or something. But I really do want to challenge myself and be like, how far can I actually uh, get launched on this? So right now, the current record is about here. I was able to land about here. Which is pretty nuts, honestly. That's pretty insane. Or I'll go around. Yeah, I don't know how we bet on this. And I can ride Rachel onto the glitch bridge, yes. I've been doing that a couple times. Alright, watch this. Vomit android, dude. <laughs> dude, launch yourself all the way to Los Santos, Gus. I believe in you. 
I'll send my horse first. I'm scared vomit. Whoa! Flying Dutchman, me back to the top of the bridge in three, two, one. I'm a god? Am I a god, vomit android? That's what happens when you believe in me. Evening from DK Gamers. Hello, DK Gamers. Hope you are well. Thanks, Jack Sack. Ooh, ooh, yeah, that's good. Yes, guys, yes. Oh, come on, I need more than that. You! No! What? <laughs> what the fuck was that? I've never seen that happen. No! <laughs> <laughs> that was that was a fucking Looney Tunes cartoon, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> that was, the framing of that was so perfect. I don't know how that happened. It like died as I left the screen, and then just a little. <laughs> Somebody's got to clip that, please. If if we have, you don't have to clip every weird launch, but that one was certainly clip worthy, no question. All right, wait, let me load this up again. Hey, Ultrasaurus, what up? Dude, I'm so sure this the same bridge did the same thing in Red Dead Redemption 1. Really? Fuck, I haven't played Red Dead 1 either. Now I gotta play it just so I can find this stupid-ass bridge, dude. Boink. I'm going down. Yeah, the game let me die in color instead of black, black and white. Also, I deserve punishment for my corn fuck-up, so I will do it. Most of these days, in case you haven't been able to tell, uh, most of my days are like, do this, do this, do this. Fuck, I got a stream. <clears throat> Go right to it. All right, there's the clip in, in case you missed it. I, dude, I got to pull this clip up here quick. Look at this. Yes, guys, yes. Nope, no, 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 right here. This is a great one. Yes, guys, yes. This is the one we just had. More than that. You. How did that happen? No. What? <laughs> what the fuck was that? I've never seen that. Here he comes. <laughs> <laughs> fuck was that? I've never seen that happen. <laughs> dude, that that is hilarious, dude. I didn't even know it could do that. See, that's what I like. Is like I, I agree. Is I I also don't know how we structure a bet around this, but. We're having so many diverse outcomes. It makes me want to keep doing this. I am going to, honestly, for today's Red Dead stream, it's probably going to be the only stream where I'm pretty much doing this the whole time. Like I said, I can only do like an hour or two quick before uh, i got to get some more stuff done. Otherwise, my brother's showing up later tonight. I'm so excited, dude. Here, let's put Rachel out here again. Wait, 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 wait. No, come on. Yep. Yep. There we go. And boop. Oh, careful, careful. There we go. Woozy, what's going on, gamer? You know what's better than 25? 26. <laughs> Thank you, Woozy Scout. Always good to see you. We have the most, like, wild-ass names in here. We got Vomit, Android, Woozy Scout, dude. Bigfoot's Gaper. See ya, Rach. Boink! <laughs> She's fine, dude. She, dude, you're fine, Rachel. Chill, girl. Seriously. Rachel, get up, dude. Seriously, get up. Get up. You're fine. You okay, girl? Yeah. She said, yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay. She's a little mad, but that's okay. Why don't you go on out there again, Rachel? Okay. It's been good hanging out with you, girl. Hey, hey, hey. Whoa! Where'd she go? Rachel? Um. Don't say anything. 
Michelangelo, thank you. Yeah, but eight is pretty good too. It is pretty good, dude. I don't know what to tell you, bro. I'm gonna reload. I'll bring her back to life. I got a million lives. This is live, die, repeat, brother. I know you're on your edge of your seat, but I'm on that edge of tomorrow. I would not be worried. Thank you, my cool Angelo. And Tim says the other day I said channel points by the Ides of March, or else three shrimp streams. That's true. I agree. When is the Ides of March? Ides of March is tomorrow. Oh. Um. Maybe I won't be on stream tomorrow. <laughs> I gotta hide. I gotta run from the cops, dude. Thanks for the biddies, Tim. Ooh, next per Okay. I like this. So, let me see what the mods came up with for a bet parameter on this. Next launch. After it closes. Gotcha. Do we... Let's start here. I like this. Do we live? Do we die? Or do we go to the depths of hell? I love that. And I think that we'll be able to tell what constitutes a launch. Okay? Anything that really, like, sends me flying. I like that. Let's get that in to just start off with on that. Thank you again, Tim. That is a good calm. Um, Rachel's back. She's seen better days. Not much we can do about it now. Oh, here we go, Rach. Come on. Let's just... Can we push your ass out onto the bridge again? You seem to really like it up there. Okay. Yep. Yep. Okay. No, we'll go. It's good. It's good. It's fine. She likes it. She likes this, dude. She loves the bridge. It's so fun. Straight up. I wish I had Horse Reviver. That would help me a lot. I can't get over here. Oh, you son of a gun. Okay, this will be easy. I'll decide what constitutes a launch. Okay, first I'm going to launch Rachel. She loves it out there. Goodbye, Rachel. I'll see you in heaven someday. Is she going to go? Do you think she'll make it? I don't know if she will. Up in horsey heaven, <laughs> here's the thing. I like that. Yeah, she's vibing. She's good. Just a little shaken up, but you understand. Bro, I consider myself a mechanic, and I think that that red water is supposed to be inside the horse. I don't think so. The red water there is where the horsepower is stored. Oh. Okay, betting is now closed. So the next, next launch is for... The payout. I like that the saddle is holding still. The reins are still. But her body is not. Okay, so I think for this one, I'll, I'll just quick reload it. Just so we have a clean one here. And there's no fuckery with Rachel on the bridge. So now, you bet if I will live or if I will die or if I will get sent to the depths of hell. Now, I'm curious what, count, what constitutes death if I am sent to the depths of hell and I die. You know? I'm curious. Are you the guy from Gus Johnson? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think that's Gus Johnson, but I'd have to double check. I'm not a very fluent in IMDB. Please give me time. All right, here's my destination. Let's get my ass up here. We will cross that bridge when we come to it, indeed. Okay. Let's go here. Just keep her off the bridge. If you go through the map, oh, that steps of hell, regardless of whether you live or die. Okay, I like that. I like that. If I go down through the bottom of the map. <gasps> Whoa. That was... Damn, if I'd been on the bridge for that one, that would have sent me to kingdom come. All right, right here. Oh, is that big enough? Fuck, I can't tell with some of these. Maybe with one of those ones that get, like, so big, it kind of resets. That's what I think, is I feel like if I, like, run around the corner and come back, I see it glitching again, and then I can just run right onto it. Like, I approach it, and then it seems to, like, lock the physics into place. Yes! See what I mean? Okay, yep, that's totally big enough. Get, 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 get! Whoa! Let's see if we live or die. 
That's a very good one, dude. That is a very good one. Can I land back on the bridge? Oh, shit. God. Holy shit. That was very fucking unexpected. I do not know how that was the outcome. How the fuck did we survive that one? All right, that is a life gang. <laughs> what the fuck? Congratulations, yes gang, life gang. No. Can I, can I even get back up here? It's not, dude, the game is not letting me cross the bridge. It's like, dude, we're, I, I'm sorry, Gus, you've lost your bri bridge privileges at this point, bro. Like, you knew, you knew. Here we go. Okay. I don't think that's glitchy enough yet. I'm really shocked that the live ones won on that one, frankly. Yeah, good cut. Yeah, tell us honestly, was that a good bet? I, I think it was a pretty good one. It's already better than what we had previously, which was nothing. That is a pretty good one. I think the real meta here is that I can tell before I leave the bridge. Like, if I get one of those ones where it's tweaking so bad that it's going even higher than this, they usually it, it usually stops doing the glitch right away. And then if I leave and then come back, that seems to be the ticket. Whoa, dude! Three, two, one. I'm okay. Just like that. Just like that. That's the hell zone. Fuck, I would have won that bet, dude, right? <laughs> that, see, that one would have been depths of hell, dude. Hey, Haley, how you doing? Original nine-year-old? Whoa, no knockoffs? Sick. Depths of hell all day. Okay, get your bets in. New prediction after it closes. New prediction. We're running it again. What are the outcomes for here? Live, die, depths of hill, uh, hell. Last time it was live. That's a fun one. You know what? What is hilarious is I told you last stream too. I am so laser locked into this. I just, I just keep like hyper concentrating. Whoa. Every time I do this. Nice. Killer Kyle thinks die. Get him in, gamers. Another bet is up. Another half a minute. This is a fun one, though. I don't know that we'll do this in any other big Red Dead streams, but I like playing around. Uh. Gus, apparently if you throw your knife at the fourth or fifth or sixth or seventh or eighth on the other side, it should give you similar outcomes. All right, let's try that. On this same bridge... Fourth, fifth, six, seven, eight. Let's just try. Four, five, four. I ain't see. Oh, it's probably got to be this one where it's like in the ground. Hey, that's definitely doing something. I see it. Oh, is this the post that you were talking about earlier? I got to see what the fuck you guys are talking about with these GTA swings now. The GTA 4 ones? I do not remember. I did not play GTA 4. Can I get it here? Like, these are these also definitely are tweaking out the bridge, though. So that's kind of cool. Come on, pick up that knife. Go. Bro, John. Pick it up, dude. Goddamn, dog. 
Shit, I lost one. There's a single swing set in GTA 4 that would add infinite momentum to your character, and you'd launch across the map. It was easier to do than this glitch. That's kind of fun. All right, live, die, depths of hell. What do we got? Is that a good enough one? Yes. Okay. Remember what we said. When it gets that high, this is going to be a good outcome, I think. When it gets that high up, run around the corner and then come back. This is to compensate for my lower health. I think that's more than fair. We're playing game. My cores were fucking empty as shit. Okay, here we go. It's tweaking. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Okay! Hey, this could be anybody's game. It's not the biggest launch in the world, but anything can happen. Live. Wow, dude. Okay. Live, gang. What happens on this next one? This is obviously a separate. This is not the same. Ooh. Okay. That was a live, gang. Another live gang. Oh, come on, dude. I'm just- now I'm just trying to really fuck- Whoa! What the fuck was this? Whoa, dude! <laughs> no, dude, no. <laughs> I took, like, zero damage when I did that, too. Is it still going? I don't see it yet, but I think we're gonna be good. This is such good placement, I don't wanna fuck it up. Oh, good to know there's a main road here, too. I should hog tie and toss somebody sometime. Points, they flow like rain, baby. Um, dude, I lost more health doing fucking that than going on the bridge. Is it gonna start tweaking again? I think I got really good knife placement. Yes! Right here. Come on. Send me. Send me. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, send me. No, 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 no. Don't touch the knife. Don't touch a knife. Send me, send me, send me. What, dude? He just keeps putting me back here. Okay, dude, okay. I'm gonna get somewhere. Oh! Wow! Oh! Holy shit. That was pretty good, dude. That was pretty fucking good. I'm not surviving this one. There was never any chance. <laughs> there was never any chance. Damn it, I almost should have like... Well, no, I shouldn't have lo reloaded the save because it wouldn't have kept the bridge intact. That was great, dude. <laughs> there goes my hero. Uh, da -da 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 -da. This is a fun game. I'm just going to say it. Da, 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 da. Nice SpaceX Starship cosplay. Oh, you know I do my best. Here, I got to load that again. Story. Load, because I'm depleting half of my shit now. Here's my horse impression. Whoa! <laughs> Watch him as he goes. Ah. Back to work. Ba -da 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 -da. Glitch.tv slash Gus Johnson. I could see it all day long, dude. All right, Rachel. You're gone. I think we got it way down better now. Okay, a new bet up right now. Depths of hell, live or die. <gasps> I didn't expect an instant result on that one. Who knows? I took, Shit. like, no damage. That was fucking insane. That totally counts. Yeah, of course that counts. That was easily kill-worthy. That is pretty fucking crazy. 
Liv wins it. Isn't Glitz the name of the Twitch emote guy? Oh, I don't know. Ling T, what up, dude? You're here for the big launch day, Ling? Blast off, baby. Let's go. Excuse me, big belch. Thank you, Ling. I appreciate how chill you are all the time in chat. Thanks for subbing again, dude. All right, new prediction's up. New prediction is up. Please start glitching. Please start glitching. I got a really good knife placement right now. Oh, dude, you know what? I got such a good knife placement. Make We'll make this a really, really quick one. Really quick one. Let's get right into it. I already have a good knife placement on this. Here we go. Yeah, that big rock broke my head's fall. Thank God, Winter Seed. That's why God must have put those rocks there for me. Oh, I wonder what happens when you try it on horseback. That's a good question. We'll have to do it after this bet. Next bet, next bet I'll do on horseback. I heard there was violence here. A little bit, a little bit. Damn bummer, I voted dead, dude. You can't always die. In fact, you tend to, to survive a lot. This is feeding my simple Dumbo brain, says Kang Lee. Knife in bridge. Cowboy fly. See, you finally understand. Somebody just finally speaks my goddamn language. All right, another 30 seconds on the bat. Get him in. I already got pretty good uh, placement on this, too. Red Unalive Redemption 3 or 2. I like that. Da, 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 da. I got that dang ass hero song in there. For the bet to be fair, the knife has to be thrown after the prediction is finished, as hell only happens instantly when the knife lands in the wood. Oh! That is a good point. I did not think about that. Well, looks like some people might got a little juiced on this one, but that's okay. Now we know. I, I never want to risk a very, very good knife placement, too, so we'll keep that in mind for these next bet parameters. Glitch is going. Damn it, I gotta run around the corner. John Justice for Hell Gang. Survey says. Come on, come on, give me the glitch, give me the glitch. It's really hard hitting that corner. <gasps> Maybe. Uh... Maybe it'd be easier if I go around this way. Let me see. I did actually see the UFO scene here. Damn it. it okay, it's really, really triggering it when it goes over here. Okay. Just gotta hit this tight corner, tight corner. Oh, maybe I just lost it. Okay. I don't know if that's big enough yet. I think it's got to be a little bigger. That's big enough. <gasps> Does that count? Does that count? I don't know. Judges? I think too low. I honestly think too low. Like, if I literally go five feet in the air, that's fucked. I think too low, and I think that that's very fair. I think it's got to be within a fallable distance, legitimately. That's totally fair. Within a fallable distance. Toilet's just singing some friggin' Creed out here, dude. Oh, depths of hell! Wow! Look at that! The justice went full circle on that. Holy shit. And then it wasn't scuffed. Oh my god. All right. <laughs> Dude, that's kind of great. I would not have expected that. A launch is when Gus goes, oh! <laughs> that's good. That's a good metric because all the opes are involuntary too, so I'd have no way of knowing. Hell confirmed. Now, I'm curious on a hell fall if I do the go around the turner and run back. Or the corner and run back if the bridge starts tweaking again. Yeah, it looks like it doesn't. But it also looks like every time I do that, I lose a knife. Oh, jeez. 
Jesus Christ, bro! What the fuck was this one? <laughs> Alright, I'll pay him out super quick. Congratulations, Hell Gang. That sounds like a biker gang. Very good stuff. Let's go. Uh, choose prediction outcome. Choose outcome. Depths of hell. Complete prediction. The points, they flow like rain, dude. Oh! Actual accident. Oh, let's put that on the bridge. Oh, I can't eat food while I'm doing that. Interesting. I'll put this iguana on the bridge. Wait, what if I just run up there? Oh, can I please let me climb? Yes! What if I just... Can I get flung while I'm holding a dead animal? I don't know if it's still tweaking. Oh, it is! What happens? Go, go, go! Oh, that could have had significantly more interesting outcomes. Shit. Damn it, dude. <laughs> Fuck. Mackie, thank you for the biddies, dude. Mackie says, easiest way to determine what counts is that Arthur should have to ragdoll. If he just snaps back onto the ground, it's not really a launch. I like those parameters. That sounds very good. Good ideation, dude. Not Arthur John, but you know what I mean. Too late. That's the rule. Fuck. Now we just got to get John in here. Or, I mean, Arthur in here. <sighs> yes, or if he hits the parachuting pose. I feel like the large launches have sort of a 50-50 chance to kill me, and then the very medium ones almost always kill me, and then the small ones never kill me. It's kind of weird. All right, I'm going down. Been down this road before, literally. Here we go. It is a bell curve of death, indeed. Oh, in fact, I gotta remember to do this here. As annoying as it is, I gotta remember to keep loading so that I don't lose all my knives, because that's gonna save me... Even though I'm losing short-term time, it'll save me long-term time from having to go and restock by, like, going back into town and stuff. I don't think the game expects you to fall from a height like that, uh, unlike a cliff size fall. That could be a that could be honestly probably what it's doing, Maple Sock. That sounds right. If you like silly content like this, highly recommend joining the Red Dead 2 subreddit. Lots of funny stuff there. I am looking forward to really starting and engaging in there because I've been holding off since I haven't beaten the game yet. I don't want any spoilers. I wonder if internally the large launches set your height value to some weird number that breaks the fall damage. I'm, yeah, that might that might be the reason. I could see that. All right, new outcome. Let's see what we get. Is that big enough? <gasps> yep, that is big enough. Okay. Anything that causes it to go so hard that it just completely resets. So that pretty much gets rid of the option for Hell Gang on that one. But it was a fair throw because I wasn't reusing an old throw. I got to just go on here quick and hook a left. Whoa, that is... Okay, that counts. Live. God damn. Live. That totally counts. That's a Live Gang over here. What's the goal here? It's not clear. <laughs> We're just doing stupid-ass bets based on what's going to happen with uh, John's fall height on this glitchy bridge. That was definitely a live, though, because that, that clearly was high enough to be able to do that. I'm going to pay that out. Congratulations, live gang. In fact, I'm just going to quick non-bet super quick. Don't re-rack it yet. Live. Complete. Complete. We've got a, a good knife placement. I'm gonna, I want to try to get another good launch in here, dude. Like, look how good the bridge is right now. Come on, give me a good launch. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on. No, oh, come on. Ah, uh, no. Land on the bridge. Please land on the bridge. Oh, he's going to clip it. Damn it. Okay, okay. Now our real goal. See, here's, the, here's what I'm happy about. Is it every step of the way it's felt like it's not clear what we need to do to get 
X thing to work. At first it was like even launches in the first place, then it was placement. Now I'm like, I want to consistently be able to get like really, really big launchable ones. So like, what do I got to do to just send my ass? Is there a science to that? Is there even a science to anything in this, what we're doing? Who even knows? Who the crap even knows? Dun dun dun. Use my winnings for the greater good. The greater good. You gotta believe, Gus. Oh, I believe, dude. Okay. I say it every time, but that little musical sting sounds so much like a, the Breath of the Wild, like... I actually wonder if any knife placement that does this is good enough if you just let it sit long enough. Like, if it goes so big that it just does that reset, you know? Like, here, if I just run away from this now, is it going to, like, keep exponentially increasing to the point where it's all going to have a good outcome like that? No, it still looks like kind of a lower level throw. Let's try this. I've been watching some guy that's level a thousand while I have no info of the game. This is better. <laughs> there you go. Oh, yep. Like, whoa. Oh, that might be a new distance record. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, I'm fucking cooking now, dude. Are we even still going up? Oh my god, where the fuck am I? Okay, where am I on the map? Dude, I'm in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> you ever have the map look like this, dude? What the fuck is this? Dude, I am gone from the game. Is this explorable? Okay, let's see where we land. Please live, please live, please live, please live, please live. Damn it! That was so fucking cool. Okay, that was 100% the farthest one so far. That was cool as shit, dude. Okay, I like that. Dude, that's... Okay, that gets me excited. How far can we go? Okay, people keep saying Mexico. Also, I'm trying to kind of keep it non-spoilery for where you can launch, but I'm not, like, actually going to be like, what the fuck? Can I... I... You guys were saying before that Mexico's not in the game? But then how can I get to it? Is the... Is it like they made land there that they just didn't finish? So, first... Our first farthest one, here's our launch point, is right under the G in Hennigan's. Our first farthest was about here, and this one was about over he Like, I can't even go as low as it was. <laughs> I spice pointed to it in real life like you guys be able to see. I actually made it about here. <laughs> so <laughs> the Sonic Dwarf, thanks for the nine months, dude. I appreciate the Prime sub, Sonic Dwarf. That's my favorite DC superhero. You love to see it. Thanks, Sonic. Mexico is in the first one. It's empty land. With buildings just for show. Okay, it's only in Red Dead 1. It was cut content in Red Dead 2. Interesting. There's low poly remnants. Okay. If you install, uh, I think it's called the Rage Mod, you can s make yourself invincible and teleport your horse to anywhere and explore out of bounds. That sounds interesting. I like that. Gus, can you drop a snap, a map marker at the bridge and save so we can see distance on the map? Oh, yeah, totally. Okay. I understand. I'm going to do that. In fact, I'll drop it on the other side of the bridge. So that I'm not, like, fucking it up as I go over there. 
All right, let's try this. That is a good idea, ZX. Right, let me try this. Here we go. Time for another. Betting's closed. Whoa! That doesn't count, but that was weird as fucking hell. <laughs> okay, I do gotta save first. I'm scared. I'll, I'll just remark it. It'll be 10 seconds for me, but that's fine. I'll remark it. I'm scared to fuck with that save. I got a good save. I'm already maxing out my brain power because if I do not have a lot of RAM up top, guys. 60% live gang on this one. I'm surprised. In fact, I, I think that that should start to be a little lower. Oh, guys, this is going to fuck our shit up. Cloud's already cleared up. All right, so that was a clean, fair throw. A clean, fair throw indeed. Now I'm just doing this, so it's not looking good. Maybe maybe never say never for Hell Gang, but it's not looking great for Hell Gang right now. There's the tweak of the week. I think this one is tweaking so much that... Oh, damn it. Hey, Waggle Dance B, you're screaming, dude. How you doing? I think this one is, like, flicking around so much that it's, it's irredeemable. Like, it's just gonna, like, do it so quickly that I can't get on the bridge in time. See? Oh, dude, it's... Damn. That looked like it'd be a really good one. What happens if I broach it from the other side? I, I never fully figured that out. I didn't know if it... Maybe I gotta get farther away. Oh, I'm fucking up my stamina core here. I didn't even realize that. Okay. Send it this time. Yeah, come on. Oh, dude, there's no way. Fuck, there's no way. Oh, man, in the lightning storm, too? That would be perfect. Tim's got it right. In case you're joining in, like, what are we doing? If you throw a knife at the specific point of the bridge, it goes crazy and it launches you. Okay, new knife. Hell Gang back on the menu. Oh, dude, that immediately was a good throw. What if you don't look at the bridge? Oh, like I just... If I try doing this... Stop it! Gus must be invested because he hasn't peed once. This is true. Okay, this is good. What if I just back away? Let's let's try backing up. I'm not looking at the bridge. That was good aim, though. World's best backwards driver, bro. Call me G Mater. Now, if you stand on the bridge and throw the knife, will it launch you? No, the irony is that once you do two knives, it you lose. Like, it fixes it. Like, it somehow, like, double pins it down, you know? Oh! Uh oh, I picked the knife up. Oh, that's gonna be. Well, that was a live gang. That was certainly... F Dude, look at my body print. <laughs> Dude, look at my body landing spot. <laughs> That's like a family guy thing. Yeah, that 100% counted, unfortunately. That's a fucking hilarious little mud print. That is a great little splat. And look, there's a little blood in the head spot, too. That's so funny. A little blood in the head spot. Love that. Love that for us, chat. Reloader. Reloader. Mason Gaskill, one of the longest substreakers on the channel. Poo, poo, poop, dot, 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 pee, says Mason. Mason, it's been a great number of years, but we're going to have to let you go. Why don't you get the fuck out of here? <laughs> I'm just kidding, bro. How you doing? Thanks, Mason. Is I, I'm going to read it as though it's like Beethoven or whatever. Poo, 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 pee. 
Poo, 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 pee. I assume that was the artist's original intent. Thank you, Mason Gasco. For 43 months is a massive number, bro. Appreciate the hell out of that, dude. Yo, dude, Sea Dog, what are we doing? What's going on, Sea Dog? Fucking tight fiber. Thank you, dog. Sea Dog just subbed up Mishra's Mohawk and Kartrak and Shout Jax and Daughter of Valley. That sounds like a granola bar. And Shifty Lizard, too? Sea Dog, I got nothing to cheers you with. How's about some tape? I wouldn't drink out of this. It does not seem like the base is very uh, prone to holding water. But looks like you can do your own Looney Tunes outro with it. <laughs> All right, dumbass joke. Thank you, Sea Dog. I hope you've uh, been having a nice Thursday so far, guy. Can't believe it's fucking Thursday already. Where'd this dang week go? I've been doing a lot of streaming this week. I've been really happy with it. I, like I said, I don't think I'll probably see you guys tomorrow on stream. What was that, John? Get off the horse. I don't think I'll probably see you tomorrow on stream, but uh, a lot of itch stuff and some Red Dead and shit. It's been really fun. Thank you again, Sea Dog. Uh, also, Darth Nar is out here for 16 months. Thanks, Darth Nar. Dude, that is very chill of you, Darth. That is Darth Maul's dad. He doesn't let him hang out on the weekends, but he said he could use his car. He said you could use it. Thanks, Darth Nar. <laughs> Dude, Pazzolary too. What is? We're not even in a fucking hype train. What are you doing? Dude, Pazzolary. Thank you so much. Basilary gave us a uh, tight fiber as well. Thanks for so much. Boogly Boogly, Lelens, LZ Page, and uh, Euphemisticism. I never fuck it up, and I always take credit for it. And uh, VG Cats. Dude, thank you. If you got subbed up from Sea Dog or Basilary or anybody else, please be sure to say thanks. That is really nice, dude. Yeah, what I walk into. I feel bad for missing so many streams the last couple weeks. Dude, life gets busy. We just had, I mean... I saw folks this week, multiple people that I probably haven't seen in even a couple months are like, Gus, it's been a while, swinging through. We just had somebody an hour ago. I never want to say the name to, like, call them out or anything. I don't give a shit. That's fine. Life gets busy. you got to take some time off, you know? I just want to be one asshole in your semi-regular internet rotation for the month. That's all I care about. I appreciate you, Baz Larry. Thanks for being here. Some good memes, dude. Smooth says I'm stoked for the weekend. I get paid tomorrow, and I'm going to finally buy a TV for my room after not having one for like eight years. Going to hood up uh, my PS4 and go down Nostalgia Lane, Red Dead 2 included. Oh, that sounds fun, Smooth. What else are you going to play? Uh, oh, excuse me. Anthony Silvestri says I love that sub alert. Hell yeah, thanks. I got to change it. It's been a while, uh, but I just want to update. I'm glad you like it, Anthony. Yeah, what else are you going to be playing there, Smooth? All right, I'm going to launch another. I'm going to try a couple non-bet ones just to see if I can... Oh! I want to fucking do... I want to get launched. I want to send my ass up to Armadillo or something, you know? Check out the Red Dead Mysteries subreddit. Oh, I guess I will have to. I'll, how about I, instead of changing it, I just add more? Yeah, this was such a good throw that it's like... It's not even going to let me use this. If I just stand out here... Will it eventually come around? Because the knife is in a really good spot. I'm curious. Smooth says I've got Bloodborne, the whole Bioshock series. Dude, that alone is just such a meaty, cheap, fucking super cool, like, game bundle right there. That is excellent. I like that. What else we got? Fallout 4 and Horizon Zero Dawn. That's great. I've not played Horizon Zero Dawn. Tim says one more bet, then I'm off to bed. Okay, that sounds good. I'm going to leave this, like, John, right here as is while I go pee really quick. I got to do it. Uh, and then if nothing happens here, I'll go back and I'll throw a new knife. Does that sound fair? I'll throw a new knife. Shrek, I'm looking down. Crimson Deceased Restitution 2. She could have said the second, brother. What are you doing? Let's see. That's actually really funny. Um, yo, hey, Simplistics, I see you, dude. Thank you. Simplistics, really, thank you. I I know you're not just some fucking name over there. You're a guy. You're some guy. You're, you're, thank you. Too close? I'm still learning. Okay, sorry, Susan. I don't know. I get excited. Simplistics, was, you know, when they're bored, they'll watch my videos. They always make you laugh. I Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. Fuck. Ah, oh, dude, I'm still learning, Simplistics. <laughs> I appreciate you, dude. All right, you guys keep an eye on John. Get your bets in. I'll be back in two minutes here, okay?
I am here. I am here. Get out of my way. Stay clear. Yeah, that bridge ain't moving. I really had hoped. Fishy goes, imagine uh, walking up to the other end of the bridge and seeing this dude. <laughs> yeah, you're trying to cross, and I'm just in the corners going, it's, 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 it's. That's the real dream. Bob. Excuse me. All right, last, last bet before Tim's bed. Let's go back, get this. I'm sad it's not moving, though. That's A-OK. -okay. I think John is afraid of rope bridges, and this is him daydreaming about all the bad things that could happen. Yeah, I could see it. All right, you ready? Oh, oh. Oh, dude, I keep hoping. I trade he's nuts. What's going on, dude? Gus, I saw Dune 2. I couldn't believe Denny Villeneuve shouted out my Twitch name when Baron Harkonnen kicked Paul into the sandworm's mouth. So flattering. Big times, dude. Big times, big times. Thank you, Atreides Nuts. Appreciate the Prime sub, dude. That was a very interesting creative choice of his. All right, I'm going around. Is Zach Matt Matt Zachman here? I see a couple Matt Zachmans. Oh, that was one per. That was Scott, and then Fossabar responded. <laughs> That's great. Here we go. All right, I'm getting my ass in here. Yeah, I haven't seen that yet. Oh, oh, nothing? It almost seems easier to, uh, like, move when I'm in this super zoomed out mode. You ready? No, 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 that's not big enough, not big enough. Okay, we'll get it right here. Get it right here. <gasps> what the fuck? What the fuck? Ooh, that was an instant teleportation. Where the fuck am I? Oh, Jesus Christ, bro! What the fuck is this? There is no... I can't even see land. Okay, John can't swim, so I'm gonna, like... Okay, eyes up immediately right now. John can't swim. What the fuck happens if I'm here? I... I can't see... Dude, you can't see land anywhere. There it is. Oh, my God. I'm leaving. I'm fucking leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. What happens if I die all the way out here? Okay, hold on. That was fucking insane. If John can't swim in the ocean, technically the depths of hell? Ooh, I don't know. That's a good calm on that one. Thank you for the biddies too, Mackie. Okay, we got to do some figuring out on this one. Maybe it's going to put me up in... Uh... Oh, man. I thought it would send me across the map. That I think that's got to be a Depths of Hell one. I don't care who you are. Wow, it didn't spawn me, like, super far away. That's got to be hell, right? The ocean is hell? I think, dude, executive decision, that's a thousand percent hell. I don't think anyone's even going to be pissed on that. I'm going to pay that out right now. Congratulations, depths of hell, 12%. I mean, if you didn't see that, that was, it was instantly. I was a million miles away. There wasn't even any loading. It was just, you're drowning. Not so mode, dude. For, yeah, for, that's a good point. I didn't think about this. Mackie goes, for John Marston, the ocean is literally hell. That is true. Hilarious. Thank you, Mackie, dude. I appreciate it. All right. I'm going to go reload this. Good night, Tim. Dude, that was a great one for Tim to end on. That is fucking hilarious. Um, That was so weird. There, can I go further? Do you think I can fucking get all the way? Dude, I can go to Guarma probably, right? If it... Because where do they build it? Usually when they build these game maps, they just put one of the chunks, like, way off to the side. I bet I can totally fucking get to Gorma. All right, turn around, go up. Land in Japan. Okay. <laughs> Yo, they didn't freaking make this yet. All right, get your bets in. I'm doing more experiment until it ends. 
Doing more experiment until it ends. Eat that big ass ham right there. Django Fettuccine is such a good fucking name every time I see that dude. Thank you for subbing up Shadis89. Thank you, Django. Oh! I think I got it down pat. I think if I stand right next to this pole when I do it, I think that's the best way of trying. Ooh, yeah, dude. I think, see, I talked about it. We're figuring it out. Oh, wow, dude. Okay, that is 100 fucking percent the, the meme that we got to be doing. Standing, like, right here. <laughs> Where? Okay. Okay. Yo! Whoa, actually. Am I supposed to be here? Dude, is, is this Mexico? Shut up. Is this actually Mexico? Okay, I didn't put the thing down. Okay, hold up. This is not part of the bet. This is not part of the bet. But this is where I started from. It was right here. Right there. Am I actually in Mexico? That's illegal. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Is this Mexico? Damn it, Rachel's too far. Oh, crap. It's gotta be, right? Are there structures? Should I make a new save? Because I don't want to fuck around on this. If this is Mexico, I want a Mexico save. If there are any structures, save yes. Okay, dude, Boy Goof's word is deed. Okay. S okay, I gotta be really careful not to fuck this up. Save game. And I'm not going to save over that top one. I'm going to do another one. I really wish I could rename saves. Click. Yes. You want to save your certain, certain game progress? Yes. Okay, so now, now the top save is going to be Mexico, and the second from the top is going to be back at the bridge. Okay? Dude. Okay, we got to look around a sec here. We got to fuck. In fact, I'm going to just for this one, because this was done before the the fucking thing happened. I'm just returning your points so they don't land in limbo. I don't know how long I'm going to be in Mexico. OK, 1952 is Mexico. I can remember that. I could totally remember that. 1952 is Mexico. OK. That's OK. I'm writing it down. I'm writing it down. Do I have a pen here? <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna forget unless I do this. I'm updating the title too. I gotta be like, yo, I fucking glitched to Mexico. Oh shit, we're close to a hype train too? Mexican hype train? Is that even legal? I glitched to Mexico? How, how, this has got to be hard to do. Look at some of these textures here, too. Wow, they put me in such a pretty spot up in Mexico, too. Scott Tard, thanks for summoning up Killer Kyle, dude. Appreciate you doing that, Scott. I think you just started the hype train for us, too, guy. Thank you. Cheers, Scott. Appreciate that. I, I, that's really nice of you to do all that sub love, too. Uh, also, Cholank out here for 20 months. That's like 13 years, I think. That's how months work, right? I, you're getting close, bud. That learning is really paying off. <laughs> Most of it seems to be... Dude, you're... It's locking in. Your mind is a sponge. You're absorbing all intel. I understand. Thanks, Cholank. Also, thank you, Basilary, for 100 biddies, dude. Mexican hype train. <laughs> Choo -choo. Let's go, dude. Um, Not bad. Yeah, I returned the prediction. I returned the prediction just because I was like, this was done between bets, and that was not even in an, uh, the option right now. Uh, thank you, Basilary. Thank you, Cholank. Thank you, Scott Tar. And thank you, Moose Rider. I get a little taste of the Minnesota every time I see that name. Thank you for subbing up Wormits. Wormits. You have all the information now. 
That sounds like another animal you'd encounter in the Minnesota North Woods, though. So, Moose Rider, I think you chose that on purpose, probably, right? Cheers, Moose Rider. Thank you so much. <laughs> Mackie, or Mackie, you're breaking the rules, bro. You can hang for free. I appreciate you. But Mackie says, Train exa exagerado. Is that hype train in Spanish? I actually did not know that. Did you have to Google Translate that one? Be honest, please. Thank you very much for keeping the train going. RD Brick says, avoid the ground with the texture that is blotchy and a little lower than the normal texture ground. Okay, because it'll fuck my shit up. Mackie goes, <gasps> yes, I did. Okay. I got to keep it all the way zoomed out, I think. That'll, that'll give me a better way to, like, look at what I'm running to. Now, I don't think... Ooh, 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 ooh. There's probably bits of ground where I'll fall into hell. Do you see any structures on the map? I don't see any structures. I guess we're just going to have to go, like, kind of as the crow flies and, and just sort of look. Because didn't you guys tell me that there were even some, like, kind of ghost shell structures over here? Like, I see that fort. There's obviously this fort, but the, is that in Mexico? Let's see where it points. If I'm looking right over there... There are no structures in Mexico. Do you know if there's anything of note? San Luis River. So this has got to be on the American side then, right? That fort is, is in Mexico? Dude, I have to fucking get there. Okay, hey, that's the blotchy ground, I think. I doubt they would have added any structures to the map if it was unfinished. <laughs> Alt F4 will open the map. Oh, great comms. So I think this will send me to the depths of hell. I'm scared of those. Is there any fucking way a guy can get up there? Either way, I'm not even bummed because I'm like, dude, we have the save. So no matter what happens, we got the save. It's totally fine. Throw knife to test ground. Looks good to me. Okay. I like it. That's like a little ice poker pole. Okay, I gotta be careful. I just gotta get down safely. I wanna try to get over to that fort, dude. We have to do it. People are saying that this fort is barren, but it's still explorable. Okay. Mm, ugh, there's gotta be a softer way down. Oh, oh, I guess we're taking this route. Okay, John. That could have been a lot worse. Shit. Okay, okay. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay. Winter Seed says, I don't know if it'll load you back here since it's out of bounds. Good luck with it, though. Okay, very good comms. This might be a one-shot deal. Ooh, I gotta be careful of this blocky ground. Dude, this is an amazing amount of land that I'm still able to, like, walk on over here, even though there's no structures. Are there any animals out here? On the road again. We are on an adventure, Lord above. I think there are in places, oddly enough. There's animals? Dude, some of these rocks are, like, so unique, too, you know? This is super interesting. Thanks for that hype drink, guys. I appreciate you doing that. Did Mom say you were allowed to take us to Mexico, Uncle Gus? I you didn't tell her we're going, did you? You didn't tell her. Tell me you didn't tell her. Man, Todd Howard does it again. Have you done any treasure maps? I have. And in fact, during the bridge launch, like an hour ago, I accidentally launched directly to the location of a treasure that I wasn't even looking for yet. Ooh, I gotta be careful on these blotch spots. IDK about here, but on the no er, but on the north side in Amborino. By Bacchus Bridge, you can glitch up past and find multiple species of animals. Like, new animals? Or, like, ones from the regular game. 
Patches Cuddles. We were just talking about that. I've not tried that before, but I might have to look into it. Okay, now we just got to find our way up. Same animals outside the map on the north side. Interesting. Still got the falls. I love that I can still see a trail of smoke way the fuck over there, too, in the middle. That is really cool. Not new, but just goofy animal spawns. Hey, this looks like a route up. Damn, it looks like they even have some, like, diet roads over here. Okay, we got a little rain up in here. We got to find our way to the top here. There's a, there's a fort that I want to look through. The massive fort looks like it's the same one that is in Mexico. Okay, so there's a chance here. I think with the Mexican exploration, we check the fort and then head back. Because this is cool as shit. We have the save file, even if it doesn't load it correctly. This looks like the place where freaking Hector Zeroni and Stanley Yelnats got banished. If there, I'd love if we climb up here. There's some goddamn onions up top. Gus, are you going to plan on playing any of the D&D Blackjack on stream? I'm not sure yet. There have been so many major developments lately that I'm just like, a man cannot even keep track of all the candy bits. You know what I mean? Mackie goes, it's absolutely fucking insane that you were able to be here. Like, they never intended you to be here, but the ground still has collision. It's not all that fuckity. I've encountered no fuckity spots so far. Like, look at these vast swaths of unique land and rock faces and stuff, dude. Yeah, we up on God's thumb over there, dude. The cooch, what's going on, dude? It's a complete miss if your horse isn't named Clive and Bundy. I fucked it up, dude. <laughs> That's a good reference. Hey, the cooch, thanks for almost a full year, dude. That's not any old cooch. That is the cooch, dude. The one and the only. I'm tired, Grandpa. I mean, collision is auto-generated here for sure. Brother, we are in Mexico, yes. If you're just joining us, I accidentally bridge glitched us to Mexico. Let's do bad! The grandpa was always mean in that. I keep rewatching it thinking it'll be changed, but unfortunately the DVD copy I own is the same every time, which is fucked. Special features my ass. This game is pretty incredible. Bridge Glitch to Mexico is a great title for something. Dude, I should do a country album. I'll just make a little EP called Bridge Glitch to Mexico. Dude, look at this fucking place, too. It's pretty as hell. I keep seeing these kind of imperfect textures, and I get scared that, like, I'm going to glitch through, but... Yeah, Holes is a pretty banging comfort movie, no question. The, oh, the VHS version has the nice grandpa. That's where I went wrong. I took a modern approach to an old problem. You hearing that? Is that a bird? Man, that must have just been part of the ambiance, dude. Look at this really specifically placed rock. I don't think birds flew by. I think it's just little grass particle-y things. You see? I still gotta be keeping an eye out for some of these terrains. Alright, here's some high ground again. I gotta take a look to see where I am. Let's take a look at this map. Dude, I'm so deep into Mexico at this point. I think that the tower is over here somewhere. Is that the only explorable structure down here, too? Is Mexico named after Texaco? I heard that from a guy I trust. <laughs> yes, it is, Hoodie. How did you know? Oh, whoa. Oh, d d d d d d dear.
Okay, I'm looking around. Like, so many of these rocks just look so specific. How did they make the terrain? Because, like, I'm sure there's some automation and some elements, but, like, this is just too specifically placed to be random, I feel. Even in this unexplored area. What was the order that they made some of this stuff? I've kind of lost track of where this fort is. But I still think my exploration is worthwhile over here. I think it's on the other side of that. I gotta be really careful. They made some of it to try to replicate what the landscape was in Red Dead 1. Okay. I mean, this is just... That is just an overwhelming amount of space to explore in. Does anybody remember where that, where that fort was? Like, come on, this is just, come on. Do you still play your tax right off guitar? Not nearly as often as I should. I gotta break that sucker out, dude. To the east? Alright, I'm heading east. I'm gonna go look over that rock face over here. Guitar karaoke stream when? Oh, that'll be the day, dude. That one will get copyrighted way less, too. <laughs> Gus, it's just amazing how much the Mexican government was interested in Red Dead Redemption that they would landscape their country for it. That was pretty big of them, dude. Very big of them. I have not watched King Cobra Cooks. Can I get up here? I don't want to try to do too much platforming because that's where I feel like the textures would have the highest chance of like glitching out and stuff, you know? Ooh, ooh. Where's this fort? Come on, it's got to be around here. Oh, there it is! Okay, okay. I think I'm high enough to be able to access it. I think hugging this ridge is going to be my friend. Gus, have you ever... Usually, yeah, I'd love to do an instrument stream where I'm playing more of it. I usually just don't do it because the tech setup is a lot bigger, and I already feel like I'm pushing my RAM usage or capabilities on my fucking MacBook, as it were. I, I wish that I was smart enough. I just need a friend to come over and help me, like, figure out how to, like outsource the streaming part to my computer so that the Mac can just handle, like, the DAW audio processing stuff. Gus, but what if you... I hadn't thought about that. Yeah, where's the ridiculous yellow color grading? How will the audience know where the story is set? It's a must. All the clouds instantly disappeared? Oh, I didn't notice it. Gus, what about the time when? That was a great time. And I also subsequently... Bone Jesus goes, can you do? I think... Back at it finally. Let's go, baby. Yeah, titillating tap dance. You showed up for a hell of a one over here, dude. Okay, gotta be careful. I'm almost over here now. Dude, I so wish I had my horse. Gus, I loved your rendition of your song. It was so beautiful. My eyes leaked salty water. That's not normal. I don't know. Have other users reported those results with the eye tech? Oh, guys. Guys. We're here. We're literally in Mexico right now. I'm going to try to not... Dude, look at how shitty the textures look, too. Oh my god, this oh, they like clip over? This is so fucking weird. We made it, amigos. We did indeed. Can I get in? Oh! Wow. I okay, does this look like Red Dead 1? I haven't played the first game. 
You'll have to tell me. This is fucking cool as hell. Are all of the walls clip throughable? No. I should probably try to stay away from the walls for right now, too. This actually does look like it. It's the exact same models and assets? Shut up. Really? Can I climb up there? Oh, man. I really wish I could climb up some of this stuff, too. Looks like they got a ladder. <gasps> Maybe right here. Oh! Okay. We're gonna figure this out. Dude, that is so fun. <laughs> Look how bad that looks. I know that this music wasn't made for it, but it does almost sound purposeful, doesn't it? Can I bridge the gap? Yeah. <gasps> wow. I'm just surprised that I can even... No! <laughs> that I can even do that. Damn it. I really wanted to check that out. Fuck. This just sounds so specific. God damn, this is so cool. Yeah, what stairs? I'm trying one more loop up there, and if not, then I think that'll be our Mexico time. Yeah, I have not fucking heard this music before. This, What is this? Did they make music for Mexico, even though it didn't get made and put into the game? Ah, careful, Gus. Okay, I can run that. I can run that. I did get launched here, yes. Yeah, like somebody somebody will have to tell me cuz I don't know. Ah, oh, fucker. Is it uh, is it really Red Dead 1 Mexico music though? Are you being honest? Cuz that sounds too good to be true for like this cut content shit. All right, I'm gonna be careful. Some of these are kind of glitchy. It actually is. Oh, no. Damn it. It's fall throughable. Can somebody look it up? Because that would be nuts that they would still program that to trigger. I'm going to try going this way around. Maybe I can climb up on that roof and get over. Let's try that. <gasps> oh, baby. Maybe. They might have TBH. I don't... I didn't know how far they got into Mexico dev. Someone should check the cutting room floor wiki. Yes. Okay, I gotta be really careful over here. Oh, sick, dude. Yeah, this is not in the main game. There's no way. This has to be different, dude. That is really cool. Mackie, thank you, dude, for the comms and the biddies, dude. Reddit post I found suggests that you can actually hear this music from the other side of the river if you stand in the correct place and that it is music from Red Dead Redemption 1. Ha, this is insane. Oh, dude, I thought that was the end of our little <laughs> adventure. Wow, bro. Okay, that's cool as hell. There's some spots in New Austin, apparently, too, where it plays this music or where you can explore and you're not supposed to. Good night, Link T. Have a good rest of your night. Huh, I'm hearing a man screaming no faintly in the background and groaning. What the fuck is groaning on? People die. People come and go. We're all mortal. <laughs> Rockstar even added polish to their cut content. Yeah, right, dude? I think you'd win hide and seek and read that online. I think I would with this one. I would never be found, frankly. 
This is cool as shit. Now, before I leave this place, is there anything else in Mexico that's even a shitty broken version that I can check out? Oh, man. I mean, I was saying before, I was like, I totally get why they didn't... Like, there's already so much content in just the base game of Red Dead Redemption 2, but it makes me sad to think, like... I mean, people will never be satisfied. There could always be more, you know? But I'm like, oh, I just... I do want more, though. I really do want Jesus. more. Jesus. I think people probably already know about this. A, C, D, 1, 2, 3, H, B. I can't imagine I'm discovering this. This has got to be... I'm sure hundreds, of, if not thousands of people already discovered this. And I get it, especially at this point in time. Like, it's pro We're probably years out already from there ever being a chance of this happening. But, like, when like when would we even see Red Dead Redemption 3? Because you know it's going to happen at some point. Did, they, did Rockstar even confirm that they're making that at all? Do you know? Wait, I can walk the... I can walk to Guarma from here? Can I really? Where is it? Yeah, it's honestly, I would not be surprised. It has got to be in the 2030s, bro. I don't even know if they've confirmed they're working on it either, KCS. Should I just keep going south? Like, I'll fucking do it at this point in time, too. I'm, I'm already on way later than I thought I'd be. Also, dude, a ton of people showing up today. Thank you so many folks for swinging through for me just fucking around. I'm gonna figure out more stuff to just fuck around with in the game, too. Does it actually take hours? Just seeing as we're on New Game Plus for this stream and just kind of hanging out at this point. I'll fuck around, dude. You know what I mean? Even if I die. Love you too, Jeff Roar. Thank you, dude. Gotta be careful on these grounds over here. Ferret, thank you. You can go to Guarma, but it's a pain in the ass to get back. Well, I got my other saves. I don't need to go back at all. Thank you, Ball, for being so nice, dude. Red Dead 3 is confirmed. Oh, oh. Ooh. Don't like that. That was cut content, too, apparently. You were supposed to be able to buy passage on a ship to get back to Guarma and run around. Yeah, that'd be great if I could go to... Oh, no! No! It was, so... it was good. Oh. oh, please, stop. Okay, I learned my lesson. I learned my lesson. I learned my lesson. Stop it. Oh, I gotta be careful. I don't have a lot of heals over here. Okay, we're good. We're good. I just gotta get down off this goddamn mountain. So just go straight south, pretty much, or what? Yeah, I bet we're gonna see... Uh, I bet we're gonna see it... I Dude, conservatively 10 years from now. I get it, but I'm just like, this is also one of the best-selling games of all time. How many copies has Red Dead Redemption 2 sold? Here, I'll figure this out. How many copies has Red Dead Redemption 2 sold 2024? <laughs> Look at what the top, the top bolded result was. When I said how many copies has Red Dead Redemption 2 sold 2024? <laughs> 61. It doesn't. <laughs> wow, wow. I must be one of the only few people that. I really thought people were playing this thing, dude. It just says, it just says 61. That's funny. Oh, now here it says 61 million. Dude, that is insane. 61 million units. Okay, that makes sense, but it's just Google formatted like. Yeah, 61, dude. Just like they wanted to, to fucking finish Mexico, but then they were like, how many did we sell? And the guy was just like rubbing his hands on his head, and they're like, dude, why? What's going on? And he's just like, dude, we sold 61. Oh, my God, 61 million? No, nah, dude, worse. Oh, 61,000? Dude, 61. <laughs> Jesus, GTA 5 was 195 million? That's nuts. That's pretty nuts.
Yeah, honestly though, 61 million is crazy. How does that rank then? Jesus, those guys are animals in the other room. Uh, oh, Flaming Wings, dude, you gotta be kidding me, bro. Thanks for Type Fiver. Cheers, Flaming Wings. That's your first Type Fiver there, guy. I appreciate ya. God damn, dude. Summon up Blizzmutt or Blitzmutt and Hinson and Machinist and Mark of Markov 66 and Fraudson, dude. Not too bad. Cheers. If you got subbed up from uh, Flame and Wings, Basilary, any of the tight fivers tonight, thank you. Uh, please be sure to, to thank your sub bombers, dude. I can't even organize my damn thoughts here. Delicious. Gus, I'm not supposed to say anything, but I'm actually helping make Red Dead Redemption 3. I just finished my interview and was offered the job as VP. All I had to do was submit some paperwork, like my social security number and my home address. I also just had to let my new boss borrow my car. But, dude, VP of Red Dead Redemption 3? Yeah, I know, dude. We're all moving up in the world this week. <laughs> That's great. Good job, Cholank. So, oh, Scott Tarr, by the way, thank you for subbing up original nine-year-old. That is so funny. Thank you, Scott Tarr. Appreciate all the love on, on uh, everything lately, dude. The sub and the, the bit love and shit. Appreciate you, dude. Um, hey, Gus, how is your night going? Th dude, it's going great. I glitched to Mexico. In fact, I'm going to tell him that we're, we're trying to run to Guarma right now. I glitched to Mexico... Oh, dude, whoever is so smart that you reorganized uh, the order of the titling, your brain is large and your heart is even bigger. I glitched to Mexico. Can we run to Guarma as John? I dig it. Okay, so, dude, this is apparently the seventh best-selling game of all time. Like, why abandon it? Just do it. Like, I would pay... I'd pay $40 for any amount of DLC here, frankly. I totally would. I would pay a steep price for DLC in this game. It's so high quality. <laughs> Nick goes, dude, I think I got hired by the same guy, Cholank. He also gave me a really cool brand new phone. My stupid roommate keeps telling me it's a scam, but he clearly doesn't know what he's talking about, dude. Don't even listen to the haters, dude. Like, obviously, it would be better for consumer-wise if it was, like, 20, 30 bucks for DLC, but I'm like, you could you could kind of charge my ass up for a DLC in this game. It's it's good. Gotta be really careful. No fucking around. Uh, now, now, correct me, too, if I'm, if I'm going the wrong way, but I've been told that if I just go south, I can run to Guarma as John here. This is just a ludicrous amount of land. Little bump. That's fine. Shivering Isles has died. Now, I gotta see. Somebody said which cards. I think it was Mackie said which games are above it. The only games ranked higher are Minecraft, GTA 5, Tetris, Wii Sports, PUBG, and Mario Kart 8. I didn't know PUBG was that high. PUBG is higher than Fortnite? All the additional contents for online because it's pay to win and it generates more revenue. Um, but yeah, I agree it's lame they don't do single-player DLC. It's like, that's what they're best at. GTA, like, Rockstar's implementation of stuff does not excel in the online front. I know GTA Online is cool as fuck. But, especially, dude, Sven made a video about this, like, a year ago. It was a great sketch. He used Ben Ball's drone with it. Um, but, dude, if you try to, if you have either never played GTA Online or you're, you've taken years off you're trying to come back now, it sucks. It's so... You just get bombarded with just notifications and you're like, why is everyone flying around griefing me blasting lasers now, dude? Pretty Dumbo mode. I think I gotta go west around this mountain. Also, sorry if you're not into me just trying to run to Guarma, but... I'm just... Dude, I gotta try. I'm, ne I'm How am I ever going to get back here again? How am I ever going to get back here again? And like I said, I already pretty much accomplished everything I needed for the stream. I'm just going to keep hanging out with you guys for a little bit and just kind of shooting the shit. The nice thing is I can kind of read chat a lot more now because I'm just doing simple, basic running stuff. Ooh, now looking at this rock face over here. 
Yo! Are those windmills? What the fuck is that? Is that a tree or a windmill? I think they're palm trees over there. Luke the red guy. It's going pretty good, guy. How you doing, dude? 68K Macman says, dude, I met this guy who said he just wanted some simple target gift cards to be the CEO of Blizzard. Obviously, I accepted. Yeah, dude, nobody blames you. Clearly the correct call. I do wish that there was a keyboard button for auto run, though. That would be pretty helpful. Yeah, is this some sort of structure? No, it's, it's like kind of like a desert oasis over here. Does John have binoculars? Fuck, yes I do. I can plot out my route. I think I have to go over it this way. Go a little bit more west and go over it that way. Because that looks like the only place I'd be able to climb. Otherwise, maybe this is a route, potentially? But I just want to be really careful. Because if I fall to my death over here, I'm probably not going to be able to come back, you know? Cholank goes, Gus, you can auto-run by... Good comms. Oh yeah, dude. I'm John, baby. <laughs> I love this, dude. Original nine-year-old goes, uh, as somebody as somebody new to GTA 5, the online was like plugging my eyes directly into the raw feed of the internet and turning up the volume on, <laughs> on phone calls. Here's my little route. <gasps> oh, I can make this. I don't think that's a danger. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, okay, it's a danger. It's a danger. Slight danger, slight danger. So, Eater of Drywall says, Some random dude handed me a 4x4 four four slab of drywall. Obviously, I scarfed that shit down like a hog and went to town. Best meal in a while. I mean, it is in your name. I, what am I... I'm not going to disagree with the man. Are you kidding me? Is this not the route? Okay, we can get around this. We can get around this. I, I can get back up here. That's no problem. Maybe I can get up it over here. Okay, that's a little steep. I guess I'll have to go around like I originally planned. Good comms in using the binoculars to kind of scout the location, though. Oh, dude, that is so cool. So then it had to have been done on purpose in the main part of the Red Dead 2 game to be like, uh... To be like, hey, if you stand on this part of the river, you can kind of hear it as a homage. But that's so interesting then. I wonder, I don't know if they use like FMOD or whatever to like source the location of their sounds. But like, did they put it just far enough away that you could hear it echoing over the river or what? Arthur could get up that hill, dude. He probably could. I wonder if this is going to, like, make my map be really explo- No, dude, I'm in fucking complete- I'm in just yellow, nothing, maps, parchment paper territory. Did New Vegas get a remaster? Oh, God, doesn't this look like a way cooler New Vegas? Oh, man, I- These cliff faces worry me, though. Whoa! Did you hear that? It went brrrr. It just kind of, it just tweaked. Gus needs to stack about eight nickels on his W key. That's the secret to unlocking auto run. Gotta make the offering. That's how they get you, isn't it? Oh, now how does a fucking guy get the hell up here, guys? I'm gonna have to go a little bit more western swing around this. Ooh, careful. Please show me a route through the canyons. I've been good. I deserve it. Kang Lee says, The way that the GTA Classic Collection's failure completely killed the production of the Red Dead 1 remaster still haunts me to this day. I had heard that there were many issues with that GTA remaster. Oh, I don't like this, guys. You see what I'm looking at here? Is that an actual hole, or is that a visual glitch over there? I wonder what the best route is. What is this? Oh, yeah, it's just a visual glitch. There's certain a uh, certain part of the map where you glitch through the ground, and then you fall to Gorma. 
Oh, really? Like, in Mexico here? Thank you, ferret. Thank you, thank you, dude. Go poke around here. No, oh, you'd fall to China. <laughs> what if you met a horse and he was like, Hi, well done, you found me. <laughs> like, that's the whole point. too far south at this point. What happens if I kind of push up against some of these cliffs? Oh, oh guys, got to be careful of this. John is real tuckered out. Also, how come my health is going down a little bit? Is it because I'm just running a lot or what? I wish there's a nice little mountain pass. Like, why are there even trees here? Are these man-made? Like, this is... Wh who, how'd they get here? Oh, I should really be careful in portions like this. Here we go. Yeah, Rockstar should have put some freaking sandworms out here. Spice things up a little bit. <laughs> how dare you, Nick. Maybe it is procedural, but then I'm curious why they only spawn them in certain spots. Like, if it is procedural, how come there's, like, zero palm trees out here except for a couple tiny micro things, you know? I'm going to go back to that last spot. I'm, I'm going backtracking just a bit east. Maybe this is my ticket over the ridge. If I can just get up this little impasse. Oh, yeah, John is big time getting this cardio in now, dude. All right, looks good here. That's got to be climbable. Yep. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. okay. I don't think I can make it around that, so before I fuck around and find out, let me just look around and... Explore. I couldn't come up with a good sexy rhyme for that. That'll probably make me s slide. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, okay. Okay, alright, alright. I ain't discouraged. I ain't discouraged. Got a lot of options. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. A good foothold. Oh! <gasps> Gotta keep heading south. Logan, what's up, dude? Glitch to Mexico? Call that a carrera de velocidad. What is that? What is... I will take your word for it. <laughs> Thanks, Kai. Uh, Logan, appreciate that, dude. Logan, seven months, baby. Cheers, dog. It tastes good, confirmed. No, you're good. Stay up here. Puppy, don't do that. Come here. Okay. Ooh. Oh, I thought that was unique. Kind of going south again. Do you think I'll have to go around to the east over here? Right now, I pretty much just need... Oh, careful, Gus. I'm just kind of looking for a way to get up and over this ridge. Like, that's my current obstacle. Gus, to get to Grarma, you'll have to cross two or three more ridges. Then you'll come to an unfinished town model. Don't enter it. Go just past it to the east, and you'll see what looks like a store. I hate you. <laughs> I was like, finally, ZX has spoken up. The beacon of truth has opened once. It's a Mick and Ralph's prank. you slight slide looking good looking good i don't go to guarma i just guarm <laughs> that's good too i really hope when you find doc brown's delorean pretty much a huge goal of mine yeah i don't think i'm gonna find the way around over here I'm laughing too hard. My head hurts. <laughs> I was totally... I honestly was fully like, Yay, Intel. <laughs> Fuck you, bro. Yay, Intel. We love Intel. 
Huh, this is really challenging now. I'm just curious how much this extends around here, too. So, just so we know, it, is it, it is possible to go to Guarma, right? Like, to walk to it from Mexico. Because I'm being told by several people that it is. I'll keep tracking around here like this. This... This is just my biggest obstacle so far is this big cliff face. Yes, I did it in real life. Okay, that's the best me meter of success. Oh, oh, come on, I was up! I was so up. This is trying to turn turpentine. Okay, alright, I ain't discouraged. Should be looking for Tahiti TBH. Brother, if I could, then I would. I'm not even reading that. Oh, wait, look at this. What the fuck is this? Yo. Guys, new cube just dropped? It does not have collision. Weird, dude. Maybe this is a way up here? That's kind of weird. Praise the cube. Cube is love. Cube is life. Minecraft confirmed? Yeah, dude, they were planning a crossover, and then Rockstar went out of money. They're like, dude, people are not buying shark cards. This is fucked. Take Steve out of the game. Can I get up there? Please. Please, I've been good. Oh! I don't think that's my ticket over. Ah, oh, it's fucking got. It, it, this is a promising spot to fuck around in for just a sec. Keep spamming, climb, spam, climb, spam, climb. I got go. Oh, you, oh, you. Ooh, that sciatica is hurting, dude. They could only afford one block, dude. Microsoft was being stingy. They said a block per Billy, dude. And Rockstar said, "Oh fuck, all right." We go. I wonder if they control the box. Not that. Not much we can do. Damn, if I could just get this climb on right here. Shit. Right here? Right here? Whoa. Ah, I did that. Nine more. There's a blanket. All praise be to the desert cube. Its light shines rays upon our souls. Guys, say goodbye to the cube. Where is it? Oh. Oh, there it is. I was like, it is ascended. Holy shit. I found a Reddit post. Okay, I'll take a look at the Reddit post. I just want to see if it's possible. Yes, thank you. I'll take a link to that. Thank you, thank you, dude. Uh, oh, thank God, dude. Can't be without it. I was about to start tweaking. Okay, let's take a look at this one. Oh, oh. There we go. I'm going to see how... Let's see. Uh, whoa. Ooh, it's a list. Okay, now we can look at this together. Slight brightness warning coming in, gamers. Boink. Oh, it didn't, uh, window capture. What the hell? Should just be right here. Firefox? Huh, that's kind of strange. 
Okay, well, I guess it doesn't show up on your stream. Start on step five. Very, very good comms over here. Okay, so open your map, scroll over to the middle of Flat Iron Lake, then move your cursor as far south as the map allows, setting a waypoint. Open your map, scroll over to the middle of Flat Iron Lake. Move your cursor as far south as you can. Flat Iron Lake. Let's try that. I don't even know where the fuck I am at this point. Flat Iron Lake? Where is Flat Iron Lake? Anybody got any ideas where that friggin' Flat Iron Lake is? Dude, also, there's this whole goddamn area down here that is, like, legitimately in the game that is... I've not even checked out yet. This is just nuts. Basilary, thank you for sub subbing up Hoodie Games, by the way, dude. Basilary subbed up because Hoodie Games just had an S-tier message. When John gets to Guarma, he'll put his hands on his hips, look around, and go, Yup! That's it. Northest of sport. Oh, uh, thank you again, Basilary. Uh, let's see. North. It's the lake that's just shot off, bro. It's the big one in the middle. Oh, I got this. Okay, Flatiron Lake. And then if I take this. Okay. Oop, nope. Scroll over to the middle of Flatiron Lake, then move your cursor as far south as the map allows, setting a waypoint. This will take some time to complete, but keep sprinting over to meet the waypoint, popping stimulants. Oh, that's insane. Eventually, enter the northern half of the Guarma map. Keep running until you fall off the map into an endless vat of water. You will now spawn right outside of the gang's hideout in Guarma. All ammo, food, and animals will spawn as normal. Weird. I don't know. Oh, so they want me to, like, go to Flat Iron Lake. Set a waypoint. As far south. Okay, I'm going back to this. As far south as the map allows. So theoretically, like there ish, right? Potentially. So I wonder if I, in theory, then should, like, go in this direction and, like, keep going down or some shit. It says I'm south. This is south of Flatiron Lake, right? Open your map and scroll over to the middle of Flatiron Lake. Then move your cursor as far south as the map allows, setting a waypoint. This is as far south as the map allows, is right here. So probably do just have to keep going east. That's the correct thing, right? Um, keep sprinting over to meet the waypoint, uh, popping stimulants. Head east until you are flat of South Iron. Okay, that's that's no problem. I can do that. Now we have direction. Pop the stimmies. Oh, that's just for sprints, eh? Do I even have stimulants? What's... Where's this? Oh, wait. Is that? I'm just going to have a piece of cocaine gum. Just so I can really go for it, bro. Dude, shut up. Joe Hank, dude. Don't you even. It's skooma time. I can't believe they stopped making cocaine gum. That's okay. You still get an equal effect from chewing juicy fruit. It's comparable. I still just don't know why my... I, I wonder if my cores are so low because I've not slept or something, but I don't want to sleep in the off chance that I set up camp and it, like, locks me back to the main world or something, you know? Luckily, I have enough stuff that can raise all my cores. No sleep, only Mexico. 
Oh, this is a Beastie Boys. No team. sleep till Mexico. I'm making it there. This is one of the problems, probably one of the single weirdest game objectives I've ever done on stream. I'm all for it, though. I'm certainly all for it. I appreciate so many folks sticking around, too. I'm just really curious to see if I can actually fucking do this. This feels like a classic game thing. Back when you didn't have internet, technically, and you're like, can I run? Can I get through this building in Simpsons Hit and Run or some shit? You know, like you're on some old 6th gen console and you're just like, can I do this? Very fun chaos. Okay, so I'm going to try going to this marker and then keep trying to go kind of south. I guess I can kind of try to go southeast-ish. I wish John Marston would do a roly-poly. <laughs> we should all be so lucky. Yeah, oops. I keep kept streaming for so long. Whoops. Ooh, uh, dude, for my last birthday, I was gifted Hit and Run on the GameCube. It's one of the best gifts I've gotten. That is a bop. And also, that is probably a $100 gift at this point in time. That's a hard game to come across. Simpsons Hit and Run is one of my favorite games of all time. I'm still looking for a cheap deal on it on GameCube uh, somewhere. Gus, would you ever dream a dream so bold that the only brave could see your vision? That only the brave could see your vision? I should, I should try to. Can I tell you a dream that I had last night? And I promise I'm not making up any detail to just be interesting. But legitimately, I dreamed that I was on Survivor. And I dreamed that Jeff Probst had... He's like, I am I was able to come up with a game. He goes, we, we're going to have you guys go into a room. And you can take as much food as you want. And you can put it in your coat pockets. And then whoever is the last one to leave this room wins. Like, you get to fill up on food and supplies and stuff in this room, and then we put you in a different room, and it's just, like, last person to tap out and be like, all right, I'm done. And I dreamed that the game kept going on for days and days and days and days, and it was me and my brother was in there and my friend Dave, and I was just... I, I remember Jeff literally being like... Yeah, I think I messed up. I didn't think the game would last this long because we'd, we'd been in the room for two weeks. That was the actual dream I had. It was, it was one of the longest feeling dreams ever. It's just, just, we're in here because I dreamed that I'd grabbed like a handful of almonds and I was eating just a few almonds a day and I had chocolate and stuff. And I just was like, yep. And it was just so funny because I had that full moment where Jeff was like, Damn, I, I really feel like the producers went out on a limb letting me come up with this game, and I didn't think that it would last for weeks, dude. <laughs> I, I fucking love that dream. Logan, thanks for the bits, dude. Gus, would you ever dream a Oh, that was from before. It just took a while to catch up because my this game specifically makes my Streamlabs glitch. Incoming, Gus, have you ever had a dream that you, you did, you want, you want? There it is. No, keep reading. Oh, it is a it is a new one. Gus, would you ever dream a dream so bold that only the brave could see your vision because the patterns are so complicated? Ooh. Ooh. Uh, yeah, I might. A lot of bushes over here. I just love those little muted trumpet stings. That's so cool. I so do wish that there was an auto run button so I could like go pee and not lose any progress too. You know. Burps, you might. How realistic are your dreams, visual-wise? Mine are like in 4K, but I know people who dream hazy or in black and white. Hey, Gus, have... That was a good use of the boldage. My dreams are, like, d upsettingly vivid. And I found this is just personal anecdotal-wise and stuff, but I... I Pretty frequently will like smoke weed, you know, like I don't I'm not a wake and bake guy I can't do it in the daytime, but as we get into the evening sometimes on stream here, too I'll like I'll puff up and stuff and I notice especially if I take a big break between doing that I get just the most vivid like too vivid of dreams and I don't know I, I wish I knew how to like like compare them metrically to like what is more 
vivid or severe of like dreams that like other people might have, but the dreams I get are often so upsetting. The wildest ones were like, especially I don't want to get too much into this, but in the last the last couple of years, you know, I had some fucking horrible rough spots. Obviously, most of you guys know that. And especially that first year after like shit went down, almost every single night, no matter what I did, if I smoked or didn't. I would have dreams where I was chasing people that I used to talk to. And it was literally like the same dreams over and over. And I was just like, I was like, please, just please let me just talk to you. Like, can I just talk to you? And it was, and it was every time there was people that were just laughing at me. Just dude, no, get the fuck out of here, please. And I just felt so desperate. It was horrible. I didn't, that was probably a really dark, sad thing to say, but I'm telling you, it was every night. I was, uh, my weight fluctuated massively. I had one of my teeth start falling out that year, the, the year of 2022 specifically. It was every night. And I think you fucking know who I'm talking about, obviously. I'm not going to get too deep in, but like every single night was just, please talk to me. That has been one of my worst entire lifelong things that has always just made me insane. It's just like, w when you stop talking to people, I don't care if you have a problem with people in your life. If, if, Unless it's the most insane extreme circumstance, you can't just not talk to somebody, okay? You know, there's obviously exceptions, but please, it's like, can we, life is too short, okay? We don't want to be, when we're older and looking back and being like, oh, but I just went, bye. You know, it, it's, it's very hard to feel like, I think a good analogy is like when Andy comes back from cowboy camp in Woody's Nightmare and he just goes, oh, I don't want to play with you anymore. <laughs> oh, that shit sucks. That's like when I've told you guys in a, in a healthier takeaway of that kind of fear and insecurity of mine. After that happened, after I had that period of my life, um, I've been so much more upfront and honest with my love for the people in my life. Friends. I, like, I've, I've written notes to friends and just told them I love them and not like a complete love dump way, but just telling people exactly what they are to you means a lot especially people that have stuck around through things and then family members especially i've mentioned specifically my grandma i've one of my grandmas is older than the other one i've got i got two grandmas and a grandpa left one of my grandmas is about 91 92 right now and she's always in great spirits um but she's gone through a lot like she was in a terrible car accident like seven eight years ago and like broke all of her bones and she just lived a long hard life her husband died in 1997 well excuse me yeah you're gonna get burps and you know she's 92 and she's started to kind of slip a little bit mentally but she's almost always in a good mood just confused and you know every time i go back and i see her in wisconsin i i think pretty bluntly like you know like this might be the last time i see my grandma and every single time i see her i just Oh, I got to be careful. I don't want to get emotional. This is not a sad thing. I'm, I'm having a good day, but it's just a meaningful thing. Every time I see her, I hold, I don't, I don't hug her. I hold her. I just hold on to her. And, and I just, I kiss her on the head and I, and I smell her hair and I feel her, you know, her corduroy shirts and stuff and her polar fleece. And I, and I say, thank you. I, I call my grandma's Abby, which is so silly. A-H-B-Y. But I just hold her. I say, thank you, Abby. I, I, I say, I love you so much. And she goes, I love you too. And I thank her for the all the times that she would spend reading to us. When we were kids, she'd read us books like crazy. And she'd play games. We'd play we'd play flip-flop go and parcheesi and pick-up sticks and high cue and stuff. And, you know, as she kind of starts to slip now, she loses out on the day-to-day -day and on the week-to-week -week and stuff. But she remembers older memories and stuff. So I ask her about my grandpa who died when I was two. I, I'd say, tell me about the time you spent down in Tennessee after, you know, he ser served in the Korean War and stuff. And we talk about these old things. And I walk through and I, I just, I talk about these old things with her. And it, I feel so good. And honestly, I, I found, oh, sorry. <laughs> I, you know me, I, I get pretty in touch with my emotions. I'm not like super sad or anything, but it's just, this is so meaningful to me. After I had that traumatic period in my life a couple years ago, I just had a lot of people that just stopped talking to me, period. And that was the most hurtful thing that's ever happened to me, period. You, you just wish you could chase everybody down. I know I probably should have reached out to more people too, frankly. But what do you do in a situation like that? Just, hey, 
probably heard some stuff. Can I talk to you? You know, I'm not going to fucking do that to 50 people. And I wish more folks would understand that, especially people that don't talk to me anymore. But you don't know what to do. And as a result of that, I've tried to swing heavy and healthily in the other direction. And for the people that are around, or even the new people, I've just tried to lean into the love that I have for them. And I've found such a source of healing and strength and growth through my grandma specifically. Because I look at somebody of like, you know, any of us could get hit by a bus any day of the week. You know, shit happens. I've had a lot of horrible health scares with my family in the last year specifically. Like I told you, my dad's not even out of the woods yet. He's got three fucking blood clots. You know, last week was horrifying. You guys know that. My grandpa had quadruple bypass heart attack bullshit go on like six months ago and stuff. So it's just like... You don't want to live in fear and walk around feeling like there's a metaphorical gun to your head by the form of losing people that you love, but, you know, any, it can happen, anything can happen to anybody, what I, is what I'm trying to say. And I was like, with my grandma specifically, I'm like, that's my oldest family member, and she's starting to slip. And like I say, as I maybe see her a few times a year, I call her, I call her at least once a month. I have a long talk with her, and I, I love that, you know, but every time I see her, I feel like it has given me so much more of a sense of control and agency over my own emotions to be like here's somebody that I know I'm going to lose but it's helped me to kind of see that coming a mile away and just it's like running at the thing in your dream that you're afraid of you know I know a common theme for people dream wise is getting chased by something being afraid for something and for me it's just been a source of like I'm I see this coming a mile away I'm going to love the hell out of this person and I'm going to get everything I want out of this person and just tell them how much they meant to me. And that has been a huge, a huge form of healing for me. Honestly, it has. Um, and that's not really something I can kind of convey to my grandma. But I think, you know, in whatever terms, I think she knows the love that, we, that I have for her. And to be able to specifically say... Not only how much you love somebody, but why you love somebody. It's just a, it's a gift. And I hope that you guys... Uh, <laughs> dude, what am I doing right now? I'm running through fucking Mexico. I hope you guys have that experience. Just It's such a human experience. Um, I don't know. I, like I said, you know, if you're a regular over here, I've been doing and feeling a lot better lately. But I'm still dealing with about... In terms of my capabilities and, and access and potential, I'm, I'm dealing with about 20 cards in my 52-card deck. But things are healing, and I've got good people and family around me and stuff. But I hope that didn't come across as, like, a, a sob story at all. But rather just, like, it, it's a signpost marker of the growth that I felt like I've exhibited within myself. And it, it, it's hard. You wish everybody else would catch up to your level of development. And in some areas, i got a lot to learn and a long ways to go. And you wish everyone else around you, especially people that aren't talking to you, could just realize, this is fucking stupid. Please, can we... Can we put things to rest? Can we heal? We don't need to get everything back, but can we just be humans again and just, like, put things to rest? Because life is too short. And that's just been a horrible stuff that I've had to deal with the last couple of years and stuff. But I did some of it to myself. And, it, you know, your consequences have, your actions have consequences. But I don't know. I don't know why this even originally came up. Again, I'm John Marston running to fucking Guarma right now, <laughs> which is hilarious. This is like me giving a eulogy over a Subway Surfer's ad or some shit, but uh, I honestly don't even know why this came up. <laughs> oh, I was talking about dreams and stuff. Um, and frankly, sorry, I haven't been able to really look at chat in the last couple minutes. I'm just going to be honest. Um, I've, I've seen the hearts fly by. I really appreciate you uh, being so loving and stuff. Um, yeah, that's just, that's just come to some of the thoughts that I've had in the last year or so. So... A lot of my dreams have been a lot better uh, in the last year. It's, it's felt like a sign of healing. The interesting thing is uh, the it, people stopped appearing in my dreams. I'm not going to name names. I think you could fill in some blanks. But it used to be every cast of characters, and then some of the people I didn't know as well stopped, started dropping off in the dreams. Oh, I'm not seeing this person that I'm chasing down. This person's not laughing at me anymore, you know? And it's getting to the point where... Sometimes I still run into those folks in my dreams, and I my dreams better or worse are vivid as hell. And honestly, I've had times where I'm borderline lucid dreaming, and if I see them now, I've had many situations where I just go up and I say, I'm sorry, and I hug them. And that sounds corny as shit, but I'm saying, like, I feel like that's a sense of growth and control I'm kind of regaining over 
a pretty anxious mind that I've had, so. That's about where I'm at. But hey, this cowboy game's cool, right? <laughs> anyway, I'm sorry. I, I I saw a lot of big messages go by. I Whenever I kind of, like, open up about stuff, sometimes I just kind of want to, like, curl in and go, eh, sorry. So I, I don't mean to be disrespectful if you took the time to, to type something out. Um, I really appreciate it. And, again, I, I really, I say this, I'm not trying to kiss ass. Like, this is a, a fraction of the kind of audience that I, I command is a weird word, you know, but that watch my shit. Uh... So you guys hear most of this stuff, but I really, I have such a, a good time with this group of people and it is so nice and healthy and positive. And I just thank you. Like, thanks for just showing up and giving a shit. Cause I really needed a lot of healing and recharging and stepping away time in the last couple of years. And, and I'm really feeling like I'm regaining a lot of capabilities again. So now remember, I can't swim by the way, I'm back at the river. That, that little tangent took about this exact amount of time. Um, yeah, I'm, anyway, yeah, I don't want to kind of read out individual messages, but I honestly will probably take the time to go scroll through some of these later and stuff, too, if they appear in the VOD. Um, Logan, thank you, by the way. I appreciate you. Gwarma really pulls things out of you. Glad you're doing better, Gus. Many happy days and closed wounds ahead. Absolutely. Yeah, this did come up. Okay, the high and the vivid dream stuff. That's just it. I that's just a point I've not talked about, but it was just such a yeah, yeah, just so much. Um just catching up a little bit too. Uh dude, I have so many feels with this conversation. My grandma was my everything and losing her was crippling and devastating and she practically raised me. I felt lost uh a part I felt like I lost a part of my identity when she was gone. Cherish every moment. Bro, I'm actually getting choked up with you right now. I feel that so much on such a strong level. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry that happened to you. Um, I hope you're doing okay now. Thanks for hanging out with us, too. Um, a common theme of my dreams is I'm blind or my vision's very blurry and I cannot see well. I do wear glasses and I take them off when I sleep and the life's and the light's off, so maybe that's why it seems or it seeps into my dreams. That's interesting. Um... Oh, my God. Are you serious? Oh, Haley, that is a heavy day for you. I'm really sorry. I'm not going to be around. Uh, but you got a lot of folks, you know, on the Discord you can talk to and stuff, too. Um, oh, yeah, Haley. Dude, you, Haley, you are really cool, and you're a really strong person. So many folks love you, too. I, You know, I know we've. it's been a big couple of years for a lot of people here, you know. So I hope that you're as strong as you can be tomorrow. Please reach out to folks if you need to, so. I'm just kind of catching up. Some I'm not reading out loud. Some I am here. Thank you, Lucas. That's very nice of you to say, dude. Appreciate you. Do you mind if I use a McDonald's napkin to wipe my face? I swear there's no McFlurry on it. I just got the app and I unlocked a free... McChicken. Guys, I just got the McChicken. <laughs> these don't yeah, these don't absorb so well, do they? But they're great for getting paint off an old slide. So there you go. Geotrack, I understand that. And I've been there with other people too, you know? We uh oh, dude, I shouldn't keep just talking. This has nothing to do with anything I've been talking about, but I felt the same way, honestly, when my friend Donovan died this last year, Crypt Daddy. He used to swing through here all the time. I just, I instantly was like, why the fuck did I not reach out to him more? I was so upset by that. You can't beat yourself up for missed opportunities because it's just, that's, that's a lesson I'm trying to learn myself. I am so, I'm usually so filled with fear and paranoia. A lot of what kind of dictates my decision making is just fear at the end of the day. And it's just, I, I've, I've learned to, that you just, you can't beat yourself up about like trying to maximize every experience. That's a problem that I still really struggle with. You know, I live with my brother Sven. I think the my number one nightmare would be is if I lost Sven, nobody else. I love him. Um, he's out of the house right now. He better not watch this. Fucking hate the guy. <laughs> um, but that's my worst, that's my worst fear. And I, so often I'm so neurotic and fearful you know I'm I am the person that 
w- gets up out of bed multiple times at the end of the night, like I've told some of you guys before, to go check the stove knobs and make sure the back door is locked and stuff. I just, I want my brother to have a good life, and I got two younger brothers and a younger sister. I'm just so close with Sven; he lives with me. But you know, whether it's a friend or a family member too, you can't. It, it's really important to honestly say, like, you can't beat yourself up of I should have done that. Like, there's a million people that are in your life. There's so many folks that are that level of importance. You know, where you think, God, I got to call that person more and stuff. Just do what you can. You know, we're all humans. We all get busy. But also, I actually like hearing this comment right now. May I suggest doing the one-two combo and grabbing the McChicken and a Wendy's Nuggets free off the app. It's a G-Dang winner of the day. I like that. Yeah, you can't or you'll spend your entire life punishing yourself. Uh, It's so hard. Indeed. Do you mind if I wipe my face with this tie-dye sock right now? <laughs> well, if you're going to wipe your face with any article of clothing, thank God it's a tie-dye because that's probably the most blend thing that you could do to wipe with. That's the thing with tie-dye is once it's tie-dyed, you kind of can't wreck it. It just can only get further tie-dyed. It's a pretty good calm on that one. It's clean and fashionable. Yeah, that's a good point, Mackie. I thought honestly, I'm I'm kind of personally at the point where I think that this approach to Guarma won't probably work. But I'd be lying if I said that I didn't notice some people had said I have the ability to potentially bridge glitch to Guarma. So probably not the next Red Dead stream. I I'm not sure yet, but I'm I'm not necessarily signing off. I'll still talk a minute or two here. Um, but I think that I probably won't be able to adventure my way to Guarma, and, and I would have to keep the game running in, in order to preserve the uh, the progress over here. So I think I, I'm okay abandoning the save even if it boots me out of Mexico, but maybe that would be a fun stream, kind of like the Skyrim auto run stuff where we said, like, I'm not getting off stream until I get, like, a three-minute auto run. If the, if the goal is, like, I'm not getting off stream until I glitch to Guarma, that would be kind of fun. So I think I'll do that in the future. Also, I just get happy every time I see Free Naven over here because it just reminds me of the jerk Naven R. Johnson. It's one of my favorite movies ever. Hey, Naven, thank you. Um, anyway, I appreciate Captain Nemo. I'm glad you're here. Thank you for saying that too, dude. Um, see if you can load back in Mexico. I will try to load back in Mexico. Let's... Uh, Let's just see what happens, in fact, if I if I do the story. I'm, I'm okay. I'll probably get kicked out of Mexico. That's okay. Now, I remember 1952. Let's just try it out. Let's send it. That's okay. Um, I really didn't realize. I just want to put a cap on that. Nobody wants to be the guy that's always got shit going on, you know? And I am still coming out of that, a feeling like, oh, God, there's, you know, got to make sure I'm not doing this or doing this or doing this. Um, nobody wants that, you know, but I didn't realize how much I honestly just needed to talk to you guys about that and just share that thought tonight. Um, thank you for allowing me to do that, you know, with the especially the people that are still fucking with me and watching with me right now. Um, I feel like it's been largely a lot of people that have a lot of nuance and humanity and recognize that, you know, people make mistakes and life gets tough, but it is in not at all in my best interest or those around me, the interest of those around me for me to just be Mr. Mopey Dopey for the rest of my life and shit. And like I said, it's been exciting to be able to come back and regain my confidence and abilities. It is still eternally frustrating to not have the full deck of cards and abilities and connections and options that I had had before I do believe that I can get to that point again hard work takes time and uh, I've been trying to dial back my talking about stuff like this is all I'm saying Um, and I've appreciated you let me kind of like share tonight is all Um, so thanks for that you know I'm just hanging out. I ain't smoking or anything. I got to go drive to LAX in an hour or so. Making sure I'm nice and safe. But, 
yeah, I really appreciate that. Thanks for feeling comfortable with having that w moment with us. Yeah, I just, you know, I just kind of shooting the shit and just kind of getting thoughts off my brain. So, I really appreciate so many of you guys too. And honestly, I'm, I mean, you know, I'm not shitting you. I, I, I probably recognize a couple hundred names on the reg too. You know, when we do a stream, it typically there's a few thousand people that come through and watch and stuff, but there's a few hundred people that are just like the core folks here. That is so. That means a lot to me. You know. And every time I see, you know, even with this group of people right now, I'm seeing 245 people on my screen. Um, every time I think of that, I think of my high school auditorium, and I say that's a sold-out show on a Friday night doing something like leading ladies or, uh, you know, Little Shop or some stuff. So thanks, guys. Um, if you didn't see the video this week, though, I would really recommend that you, you know, see it. I'm not trying to do some upsell thing, but please check it out. I filmed it with my brother, and my mom was saying, too, of, like, Oh man, I'm really proud of you. That's that's really good. You thought I thought you guys both did a good job of performing. That was a really fun one. I'm going tonight to pick up my brother from LAX, and my sister gets to town on Sunday, and they're both leaving on the 21st. Now I'm gonna see you guys before then. It's the it's the 14th right now. Um, but please, if you need anything, I can't promise I'm gonna be responsive at all, you know. But if if you need people, there's a lot of good folks in the Discord and stuff. I know some of you guys have shared that you're in. Uh, you're going through kind of some stuff right now. Haley, Hot Milk, other folks and stuff. You know, like just, you know, be around. Feel like you got people to be around, even if you're just posting food pictures or nature pics or some stuff. So, um, <laughs> yeah, God, God is coming to town. God is indeed coming to town. We will see him uh, near us over here. <laughs> I don't think we'll set him up on the roof, though. Um, after my roof started leaking during the big rainstorms, uh, I decided it's probably not the most load-bearing thing, so I should probably keep the guy off of it, you know? Um, today is Thursday. I don't think I'm going to see you tomorrow. In fact, probably definitely not going to see you tomorrow, but perhaps on Saturday I will see you, and perhaps on Monday I will see you, too. So, guys, in a very fitting way, too, we're going to raid over to A-Tray right now. That has been a very wonderful person that has been a, a a source of a lot of happiness and support and care and kindness for me in the last couple of years. I think she's cool as hell and she's making a pie right now so who the fuck doesn't want to see that? Don't you guys want to make a pie? I want to make a pie. I want to eat one. Do you have any idea how hard it is to make a pie crust? One of my favorite Norm McDonald blue card jokes that he says is, is this. I'll just play the audio for it before we raid over. But please go hit some, uh, uh, hit a tray with some love. Norm McDonald pie joke. You don't need to see the video. Oh, I thought it would be easier to find. But anyway, the joke is he goes, uh, you know, they say things are as easy as pie, but you know what actually isn't easy as pie is making a fucking actual pie. I love that joke. I'm sure some of the words are off, but anyway, uh, we love Trey. I love you guys. Not being parasocial. A lot of good folks out there. Thanks, everyone, for hanging out tonight. Uh, Basilary Pleasance, Moose Rider, Captain Nemo, you know, Kang Lee, Scott Tar, Slim, Whisper the Fart, ZX, Ultrasaurus, Lucas. Thanks, guys. Jeff. Uh, too many people to name, but I appreciate you, and I appreciate the time we have together. So go have a good rest of your weekend, and please be at peace. You know, life's too hard. Cut yourself some slack. You're doing a good job. Alrighty, guys. No outro. Uh, let's raid on over to Trey, and we'll see you real soon. YouTube odd watchers. Have a good night.